1053 presents Trinity Christian Academy football. Our broadcast sponsors this year are Clement Transmission Service, First Bank, the TCA Booster Club, Simmons Bank, Voya Financial Services, McCoy's Heating, Air and Plumbing, Hertz Seed Company, the West Tennessee Bank, Robinson Toyota, Sports Orthopedics and Spine, King Jewelers, McDonald's, Jackson State Community College, Old Country Auto, Mitchell's Body Shop, Reliable Lawn Care, and Toyo's Eye Clinic. And now, let's go to the stadium with our broadcast team, Diamond Dave McCulley and Stan Girard. That is the voice of our executive producer and director, one Tom Mapes. Hi, everybody, from Ken Redmond Stadium and Joe Patterson Field on the campus of DCA here in East Nashville. I'm Diamond Dave McCulley along with Stan Girard. Jay Cashin's on our video side tonight as you watch the game at WNWS.com. Our on-site producer and director is one very talented, likewise, Brad McCoy. He's on charge of uh, all the uh, activity tonight. Along with Stan, we are happy to be here in the second round of the TWSAA playoffs as the Lions have invaded Wildcat country today. So it's the Battle of the Felines here at Ken Redmond Stadium. Of course, the Lions coming off a very impressive 21-7 win over Grace Franklin Grace Academy last week. Meanwhile, they face a giant of a team tonight as far as their record. They're 10-0. They're the East champs over in the the other side at 7-0 and meanwhile the Lions come in with a 7-4 record 5-3 in regional play throughout the year. We appreciate the accommodations of one Dennis Goodwin, the athletic director here. This campus was pretty well destroyed back in March if you remember the tornado. I was talking to my son who lives a few miles from here in downtown Nashville and he was talking about the fact that the tornado jumped right over the downtown area, the Batman building, the Stallman building, made its way right over here and pretty well took this school apart including this football stadium they, we are working in a very nice press box tonight. It's under construction, but we appreciate the accommodations here tonight. The homes around this neighborhood, too. You can see where they're still rebuilding and uh, remodeling some of the homes. So, Stan, uh, power to these people. Boy, God has blessed them to come back. Yeah. They fought back with some brilliancy and some really great fortitude and courage. And this campus is uh, pretty well, as we said back in March, the middle of March, was basically destroyed, yeah. and here they are playing football. They're 10-0, and, and uh, hats off to them and their uh, courageous back battle here at DCA. Well, they've certainly done a, a lot of good things here with their ball club this year. Uh, but, but Dave, for this bunch at DCA, the 10 old record's not the priority for them. Getting their lives back in order, sure. uh, getting to some sense of normalcy is back in order. And, and you look at this facility, the school racked, the whole front gone, the uh, elementary wing gone, the press box was gone. It's on the opposite side. The press box used to be on the visitor side, and you know now we're operating out. It's not finished. There's a lot of dust around, but it is an absolutely immaculate professional press box. One of the best I've ever worked out of. And these folks have been real nice to us. And on top of that, we got a football game tonight. It's the second. It's the quarterfinals of the TWSAA Division Two playoffs, and uh, one game away from the semifinals. Two games away. From Cookville. Yeah, no doubt about it. And a big ball game here tonight. Obviously, the winner moves on. The loser, well, they head to the house and open up uh, the basketball next week. lockers and those kind of things. Speaking of basketball, our next broadcast after tonight will be Tuesday at home. We'll have airtime for you at 545, the tip at 6, as the Lady Lions and Lions will open up against Huntington. I may call them the Cats sometime tonight because we're in the middle of doing college games as well. You're right about this press box. I've been doing, uh, did Lambeth 18 years, our 13th year, I guess, with uh, Trinity Christians some of those overlapping, but uh, over 30 years of broadcasting and press boxes through the li my life, and this is one of the nicest setups we've had. We appreciate Jay tonight. We appreciate, of course, uh, Brad McCoy as well. John Brelster is along the radio side tonight, two back in the studios over in Bells. DCA coming in at 10-0. They've outscored their opponents 341-79. to That marks up with a forfeit at 15-8. and eight, uh, the Lions averaging offensively, they're yielding 24-8. Meanwhile, DCA, 38 points a game they're averaging offensively and defensively yielding just nine. Let's take a two-minute break, and when we come back, Stan will give you his thoughts not only about uh, this game tonight, the matchup here tonight. He'll also give you his thoughts about some other games around the area. We do know already tonight that uh, Covington and Mila not playing. Covington, uh, bless her hearts, down with COVID-19. That game had to be forfeited, so Mila's going to move on to the public sector, which would be their quarterfinals 
next week. Let's take this two-minute break. We'll come back. You're watching on WNWS.com. You're listening on Fox Sports Jackson 105.3, and you're listening also on FoxSportsJackson.com. Stan Gerard's working the board here right to my right. We'll come right back with the countdown to kickoff continuing here on the what we can actually truly say tonight, the TCA Football Network. Stay with us. In football, if you block and tackle better than the other team and work extremely hard, you have a pretty good chance of winning the game. Hello, I'm Curtis Mansfield with First Bank. To commercial loans to online banking, we have the services you need and are prepared to work hard for you. We are your friends and neighbors and are ready to give you the attention that you deserve. First Bank, first in experience, first in service, first in convenience. We want to be your bank. First Bank, where you matter most. Member FDIC, equal housing lender. First Bank, a proud sponsor of TCA football. Always dependable. Clement Automatic Transmission. Owners Jim and Connie Clement have invested over 40 years building a reputation of integrity based on Christian principles, specializing in foreign and domestic transmission repair, featuring open Monday through Friday, 8 to 530 at 3846 Brownsville Highway in Jackson. Every time, depend on Clement Automatic Transmission. Jim and Connie say thanks for this community's support for over 40 years. Thank you for following TCA Athletics. This is Gina Keltner, president of the TCA Booster Club. God has called Trinity Christian Academy to assist Christian families and their churches in providing a biblically directed, academically excellent education that equips students to be godly leaders and servants in their home, churches, and communities. The TCA Booster Club's efforts help provide the resources necessary for our coaches to have the opportunity to carry out TCA's mission on the court and on the field. At Sports Orthopedics and Spine in Jackson, their team of highly trained physicians utilizes state-of-the-art facilities and techniques to restore your health and mobility. They treat every kind of orthopedic injury and condition, offering world-class care, same-day appointments, Two orthopedic surgeons, a primary care sports medicine physician, and a doctor of chiropractics form the best team in medicine, maximizing comfort and convenience, minimizing cost. Now offering the latest in stem cell and platelet-rich plasma therapy. Find out more at sportsorthospine.us. Now let's go back to the stadium for more Trinity Christian Academy football with Diamond Dave McCulley and Stan Gerard. We failed to mention a moment ago one of the characters in the press box with us as well. Wesley Freeman is behind us. He celebrated a birthday characters. earlier this week. He doesn't, yeah. look, uh, doesn't look any older. He's 19 again, I might add, but uh, good to see Wesley and happy birthday. We did that on Facebook, but we'll do it here on the air as well. Diamond Dave and Stan, the man, back with you. Stan, you have a look at some of the other games around the area tonight. And uh, one of those games, as we mentioned earlier, Milan and Covington not playing tonight. I think Milan would have been favored in the game. They'd beaten Covington early in the oh, year. Oh, it was going to be a street but, uh, fight. That was going to be, as we like to say, a barn burner in that one. But uh, that game has been called because of COVID-19, and Milan will move on as a result of the forfeit. That's just one of the games. And USJ tonight, one of our sister schools here on the network. Jackson Christian's up here as well. As a matter of fact, folks, this is our third week to Nashville in the last four weeks. Well, only your second. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Diamond live action. Let's start in 1A football. Moore County, 10 and 1. They got to travel to Huntington, 9 and 2. You're going to want to take Huntington in that ball game. Here is one of the more interesting matchups of the week West Carroll at Lake County on a Diamond. If you remember, West Carroll knocked off Lake County a couple weeks ago. It's going to be a big rematch. Lake County is going to come out on top in their home facility. Also, we've got Adamsville. Or excuse me, that's in 2A. We've got Adamsville traveling to McKenzie. That's going to be uh, McKenzie winning that ball game. They met earlier in Adamsville, and yep. as you like to call them, the Dirty Birds won that one. The Dirty Birds won, but McKenzie's going to win. Craig Lund may be tuned into you tonight, well, by the way. He likes me. Yeah, he does. Other ball games, Riverside at Lewis County. Riverside's had a great, uh, great season. Lewis County 10-0. That's a tough place to play, but Lewis County often has a lot of good teams but fails to get it done in the playoffs. I'm calling Riverside in the upset in that game, Bobby, knocking off 10 and knocking off 10 and 0. Bobby Sharp. Many people in the business already know this, but some of the fans that uh, follow football maybe casually, he is one of the very best in the business yeah. I think ever. Forrest is at Wavo. We're going to go with Wavo, Waverly in that ball game. Union City is at Peabody. It's all Peabody in that ball game. Uh, there, there's nobody is going to stop Trenton Peabody, and nobody in at least two classes is going to be able to stop Trenton Peabody. Going to 3A, of course, Covington at Milan, uh, COVID win for Milan. Westview at South Gibson. 
Westview came out of the gates real hot, and then they kind of fizzled late. South Gibson's kind of been up and down a little bit. Um, I'm going to go with Westview in that ball game. I think uh, the Chargers, they've got an outstanding quarterback, and I think they'll get it done. Harden in 4A, Harden County 9-2 at Springfield 10-1. I don't care about 10 and 1. Hardin County is going to win that football game. Creekwood as at Lexington, both teams 10 and 1. This is going to be a great collision just because it's a home game at Lexington. I like the big red machine. Dyersburg is at Haywood. You're going to have to go with Haywood in that ball game. Crockett County is at Ripley. That's going to be a good ball game. Crockett County 5 and 6, Ripley 6 and 4. Ripley one of their better teams in ages, but I like the Cavaliers come crunch time. The history is just there. Crockett County is going to win. 5A, Brighton is at Henry County. It's all Henry County in that ball game. Let's take a look at Division II Class A on the other side of the bracket. Nashville Christian School is at Kings, Kings Academy, and that's going to be Nashville Christian School abusing Kings Academy in that ball game, in my opinion. Another ball game on the network tonight, uh, Jackson Christian is at Davidson Academy. JCS 8-3 and three at Davidson Academy. They are the beast incarnate at 10-0. You know, because they're from Jackson, I'd like to see uh, JCS win, but uh, Davidson Academy is going to roll in that ball game, in my opinion. Other ball games, it's going to be uh, MTCS at USJ. It's going to be all Bruins in that ball game. Even though the one thing you might worry about, remember the Bruins haven't played a game in over four weeks, so that could they could be slow out of the gate. But I like a USJ. It's going to be close for a half, I think. USJ is going to come out on top in the end. And then of course our game, TCA, right here at DCA. DCA, the number one ranked team, or they're the number one seed out of the East, and uh, TCA, of course, the uh, number four seed. Anything can happen at this point. You know, it, it, it's like a it's like a heavyweight fight. It just takes one shot. One shot to the head is all it takes. If T, this is my deal, Diamond, if TCA can hang close through three quarters, anything can happen. It, it could go one way or the other. But if we can be close, you know, through three quarters, you know, we've got a puncher's chance of knocking off the champ. No doubt about it. That's some of the early pregame thoughts here in the countdown to kick off from Stan the Man. Coming up in just a matter of moments, you'll hear the head coach, uh, Blake Butler, in his 10th season. He comes in tonight with a 65-51 and 51 record. I'm sure his lovely mother, Janet, and his dad, Keith, up in Pittsburgh with the Steelers and the gang. I'm sure that they are tuned in tonight and watching as well. We appreciate you watching on WNWS and listening on FoxSportsJackson.com and on 105.3 as well. Again, our on-site producer and director having his hot chocolate now is one Brad McCoy. When we come back, the pregame thoughts of Blake Butler, and we'll come back and hear that on the countdown to kickoff here, two-minute break on the TCA Football Network. Hertz Seed Company and Halls that it's teamwork for their success since they were founded four generations ago in 1932. Today, brothers Trey and Ray Hurt appreciate the hardworking, dedicated employees they consider and treat as family. Several Hurt family children and grandchildren attend Trinity and help promote teamwork in TCA's athletic program. Hurt Seed Company, wholesalers and processors of soybeans and wheat, working closely with the agricultural community of West Tennessee to produce quality seeds. Teamwork in action. Let's go, Lions. It's another year and another football season for the Trinity Lions. Hi, I'm Mike Steinbach, sales manager for Robinson Toyota right here in Jackson, Tennessee. Now, a lot has changed over the last year, but one thing that hasn't changed is Robinson Toyota's commitment to the Trinity Lions. We are back and better than ever with a new peace of mind lifetime warranty on every new Toyota and most of our used and pre-owned vehicles. Wow, a lifetime warranty on every Toyota. That's almost as good as a Trinity Lions touchdown. Stop by and see us at Robinson Toyota and support your Trinity Lions. Autumn decorations are down from the attic, football tickets are purchased, and it looks like you're ready for fall. But is your home heating? Cold weather is coming, and McCoys can get your furnace ready. Our technicians provide the highest quality inspections, cleanings, and repairs to keep your system running efficiently. Don't wait until the cold creeps in. Call McCoys and schedule your maintenance today. 731-668-7492 or visit airmccoy.com. McCoys Heating and Air, Jackson's most trusted team of technicians. 
Simmons Bank is a proud sponsor of Trinity Christian Academy Athletics, and it takes a solid foundation to build a solid business, and nobody understands that better than Simmons Bank. Whether you need startup capital, equipment loans, or money for expansion, Simmons Bank has experienced business bankers that will give you the time, accessibility, and the service you deserve. Simmons Bank has 20 West Tennessee locations, including three in Jackson. The Simmons Business Bank team is ready to help you. Subject to credit approval, member FDIC, equal housing lender. Now let's go back to the stadium for more Trinity Christian Academy football with Diamond Dave McCulley and Stan Girard. The Lions 1-4 and four on the road this season, 6-0 and oh back home, and of course they'll not be back at home now, even if they win tonight. Let's hope they do that and keep the season alive. Dave McCulley and Stan Girard with you, Wesley Freeman, Brad McCoy, Jay Cash, and all here in the press box with us. It is 47 degrees on a nippy night here, dipping down to 40 in the mid-state area, just like it is back home. It was senior night. The seniors were recognized here earlier tonight. The marching Wildcat band, they are the Wildcats against our lines. They are right below us uh, as well. Stan Gerard had a chance to talk to uh, Blake Butler. We're going to wait and see where the anthem is going to be played, so we make sure that we don't uh, overlay that. Let's go ahead and go to that interview with Blake Butler. That will not interfere with the anthem uh, here in just a matter of moments. We're at Donaldson Christian Academy tonight at Ken Redmond Stadium. Joe Patterson Field, and here are the pregame thoughts. Stan Gerard talked to Blake Butler earlier about this second round TSSAA Division II matchup. I'm speaking with head coach of the TCA Lions, Blake Butler. Coach, it's week 13 of the playoffs, and Trinity Christian Academy is in the dandy dozen of teams still playing in Division II Class A. Yeah, you know, it's uh, obviously a uh, privilege to be playing November football, especially the second week of November. Uh, and, you know, we tell our guys don't take, take that for granted. Uh, there's, you know, over half the state's done with football for the year, and here we are still playing and, uh, you know, challenge our seniors each week to earn another week. And so here we are trying to earn another week. Coach, I know it's one thing coming into this interview today. You're doing things old school, watching film after practice, using your, pra using your practice time for the light and doing that film in the dark. Yeah, obviously trying to do uh, as much work on the field without t cutting on the lights and, uh, and and things like that. Obviously we'll cut them on if we need them, but uh, you know, moving film to the end of practice um, and really just trying to uh, you know stay on top of our guys. Obviously with the technology and huddle and having access for them to watch it at home, uh, we don't want to take anything for granted and being sure that they're seeing what we're seeing on film and communicating that in person. Uh, you know, we give them scouting reports and stuff like that at the beginning of the week. But I uh, want to, again, leave no stone unturned and be sure we're mentally sharp and ready to play on Friday. Let's talk about our, opponents, our opponent tonight, Donaldson Christian Academy coach, one of the traditional and traditionally strong teams in the state in Division II Class A football. Yeah, a couple, uh, you know, um, years ago uh, they brought Coach Wade in uh, who had been at uh, Davidson in the early 2000s, uh, won some state titles there and uh, had been the um, offensive coordinator at Innsworth uh, when they had won their state titles. So uh, Coach Wade comes in with a wealth of experience. They brought him in to kind of rebuild that program and uh, he's done a great job. They've uh, obviously when you uh, win, win your region and finish undefeated uh, you're doing something right uh, and, and again he's a solid coach. They're going to be a well coached team. Uh, play hard, play sound, and uh, again, may, may, make you have to really earn a victory. What kind of offense is Donaldson Christian going to uh, bring in tonight's ball game? Uh, you'll see a lot of eye formation uh, out of them. Uh, you know, they've got tremendous fullback lead blocking for their uh, Mr. Football candidate running back, uh, John Davis. And uh, again, he, he's an elusive back, uh, good speed, good moves. Uh, and they really use that to set up the play action pass. You know, occasionally they'll spread things out, but mostly they're going to be an I formation team, try to run at you uh, and then play action off of that. Defensively, what do they bring to the table? You know, defensively, they're going to be a 3 4 team. Uh, we've got some big linemen up front. Uh, and again, they're, they're not real uh, exotic on defense, so to speak. Uh, again, with our running attack, sometimes we see some different defenses. Um, but uh, again, they're pretty straightforward, but they're going to be sound. And uh, again, they're not going to make the mistakes that, to beat themselves defensively. Uh, we're we're going to have to definitely uh, move some people and earn those yards. This is a team, if I, if I remember some of the scores correctly, you know, they're, they're a out of region competition has been pretty good this year. They play they play a solid up schedule if I remember correctly. 
Yeah, you know, uh, I know some of their uh, out-of-region games, uh, Summertown, of course, I think they only finished playing nine games uh, th this year, you know, with all the, you know, COVID cancellations and things like that. Um, but, uh, again, they uh, have obviously competed well being undefeated, but uh, when you just look at uh, who they're willing to play, they actually played the Memphis Nighthawks, uh, which was a little bit of a different Memphis Nighthawk team than what we saw. Um, they added in a few uh, guys from Shelby County School System. After the Whitehaven JV team? Well, it, it was uh, a couple D linemen from Whitehaven and uh, I believe quarterback from Germantown. and. Uh, it, it was a much different team and uh, played a pretty tight ball game with them. But uh, uh, again, it, it's a uh, they're, they're a good team. They've got some young guys they depend on, especially up front. Uh, but you you can see that you know Co Coach Wade's an old uh, offensive line coach and uh, you know developing some of those big young guys they have. And uh, again, they're they're going to try to establish the run. Let's talk about the health of the team. I know we've had some health issues over the last uh, couple of weeks. But this team's starting to uh, get healthier again. Yeah, we, we should be able to get some guys back uh, this week and you know, hopefully get to as close to full strength as possible. Um, again, during this uh, season we're in, uh, again, you can't take anything for granted. Uh, you know, just looking at it, I don't know if we've played a game with a full roster yet. Uh, but uh, again, th these are the circumstances we have, and we can either, you know, choose, we get to choose how we respond to it. And uh, again, th there's no excuses. You just find a way to get it done. And like I said, our kids have done a pretty good job of finding uh, ways to get it done this year. And uh, again, this, this week will be no different. Keys to victory tonight against Donaldson Christian. Uh, we have to be sound in our run fits uh, defensively. Like I said they're going to come out and try to establish the run. Um, you know, we need to be solid tacklers. Um, it, you know, if the run fits are there, uh, the backers get where they're supposed to be uh, and fit it downhill. Uh, if we're over the top too much, uh, it's going to leave for some cutback lanes. Uh, if we don't set an edge with our force players and uh, the running back does a lot like to bounce it outside, um, we've got to just that goes to being sound in your scheme, sound in your execution, uh, and, and force some turnovers defensively. Coach, don't have any big musical advice, but you know what to do. The coaches know what to do. The players know what to do. Let's get nasty. Yeah, let's, let's go find a way to get, get a semifinal game here again. That would be a good thing. That's the head coach of the TCA Lions, Blake Butler. We're going to take a timeout. You're listening to the Countdown to Kickoff pregame show on Fox Sports Jackson 105.3. We're back after this. Have you been looking over and over online in search of that perfect engagement ring or that special piece of jewelry that you can envision in your head but just can't seem to find? Well, come let RJ Case Custom Design Studio, located inside Roberts Jewelers, bring your very own design to life. Come book your one-of-a-kind jewelry creation experience with RJ Case's head designer, Chris, by visiting Roberts Jewelers right away. If you can dream it, RJ Case can design it. RJ Case, located inside Roberts Jewelers, Van Drive, Jackson. Boya Financial Advisors Stephen Brad Little, Byron Bush, Justin Howell, and Russell White are proud to support Trinity Christian Academy. Anything is possible with the right planning. To find out more about Voya, visit financialadvisorstn.com. And here's more about Trinity. Head of school, Judy Brown. Elementary school principal, Christy Timms. Middle and high school principal, Tom Hughes. Admissions director, Laura Davis. Athletic director, Ken Northcutt. And the head football coach, Blake Butler. Voya Financial Advisors encourages TCA to train young champions for Christ. For the month of August and September, try our rich and creamy s'mores milkshake. Don't forget about happy hour at Sonic from 2 to 4 p.m. when drinks and slushes are 50% off. And hey, looking for a job? Sonic is hiring at all six Jackson locations. Apply online at snagajob.com and select Jackson TN for the area. Enjoy cool treats on these hot nights at all six Jackson Sonic locations. Sonic of Jackson, proudly supporting high school athletics. For more than 50 years, Jackson State Community College has helped West Tennessee students prepare for success. Now more than ever, Jackson State is here to help our students navigate the challenging times in front of us. We don't know what the future holds, but we know that Jackson State will be here to support our students in the communities of West Tennessee. Visit the COVID-19 page at jscc.edu slash COVID for the latest updates and the resources you need to be successful. Jackson State. 
invested in your success. Now let's go back to the stadium for more Trinity Christian Academy football with Diamond Dave McCulley and Stan Girard. Well, it's COVID-19 2020, as you know, and only one captain can meet at midfield. The captain for the Donaldson Christian Academy Wildcats will be their Mr. Football finalist, John Lewis, the running back, 5'9", 180. He's an outstanding player. You heard Blake Butler talk about him. Meanwhile, our outstanding player, Eli Stewart, the 5'10", senior, the Z-back and the cornerback, they'll meet at midfield. The Wildcats will wear the blue helmets with a Wildcat over the numbers in gold on each side. The numbers in white, the jerseys in blue, and the pants in white. Stan will talk about that stripe along those pants in a matter of moments. The Lions will wear the purple tonight with the white jerseys, purple pants, and the purple helmets, and they'll wear the purple numbers. Stan, we heard from Blake Butler a moment ago here in the countdown to uh, kick off. What are your thoughts? What does TCA, you mentioned, have to hang around in this game for two or three quarters and then maybe uh, have a chance here in that fourth quarter against this powerful 10-0 undefeated football team, the Donaldson Christian Academy Wildcats? Your thoughts, some final thoughts before kickoff. Well, no question, uh, DCA is going to be the heavy favorite, or the heavy favor coming this ball game but like I said earlier if, if we can manage to keep it close through halftime keep it close into the third quarter you know it, it, it's I use like to use the old boxing analogy when you, when you get down to that time in the ball game one punch can be all you need and you know even the wildest of swings can connect and uh, you know deliver that knockout blow but when, when you put it in football terms absolutely 100 percent you cannot commit a turnover against this ball club uh, they're going to present some problems for us size-wise. They have a mammoth offensive line, and they're going to run a real tight shoebox. They're going to go foot-to-foot -foot almost and provide some real power running for their outstanding uh, back, Lewis. Uh, you know, we're going to have to find a way the defensive players, defensive ends, going to have to get that edge and deny them getting to the edge and to the outside of that ball game. TCA has won the toss. And they have elected to receive. So what we're going to do, obviously, get out early and use our power offense and grind out long drives. Keep their great tailback off the field. That's what you got to do to beat a team like this. Long grinding, uh, old school Union City type drives are what we need in tonight's game if we've got to have a chance to win. A good crowd across the way. Good thoughts, Stan. The DCA team, as you heard a moment ago, they did win the toss. They elected to defer. The Marching Wildcat Band and the cheerleaders forming the corridor down to our right where the blue and white clad uh, Wildcats will make their way. They have the end zones here in the blue and white. A little reminiscent of my Kentucky Wildcats yep. who are at Vanderbilt are at home tomorrow against Vandy. If you haven't heard, one of the football legends. We'd be remiss tonight if we didn't do a ball game anywhere across this country, whether it be high school or college, not to mention the golden boy from Louisville, Paul Horning, dying uh, today. Louisville Flagey yep. High School. And 2020, when you don't think it can get any worse, it seemingly does. The Lions will have the football to begin this ball game. They'll be moving left to right on our dial, and that would be the north end zone to my right and the south end zone, I believe, to my – or well, well, I've never been really good about directions. Uh, south, south, south is going to be that. Left. Okay. And the lights just went out here, and that's on purpose because they bring out the Wildcats. I hope they and did that different. on purpose. It yeah, is it's different. different. They're turning the lights – off and then turning them back on. Some stadiums it's you can't a, do it's, that. It's a digital it, deal. Because it takes a while to get them back <laughs> on. Well, the Lions will have this football to begin this uh, game. They average 189.7 yards on the ground, 41.8 in the air. Blake Butler, 10th year, 65 and 51, matching wits with Paul Wade, who is 71 and 31 overall in his uh, third year here. He's 18 and 14 with his 10 game winning streak. They were um, 8 and 4 last year, and they lost in the. Um, quarterfinals to it would appear at Davison and they lost that ball game but they have ripped off 10 straight and I think uh, Stan if there's life if there's justice now we want them to lose tonight but if there's justice in life which we all know that it is it's nice that this team is rebounded with a 10 and 0 season after the unfortunate tornadoes ripped this school and this facility apart back in March the Lions will drop back they'll have Todd back there and the ever dangerous one Jake Wilson how good is Wilson on the return well how about a 90 Four yard or 104 yard kickoff return down at Tipton Rosemark. It will be to kick it away. Braden Desham, the place kicker, the sophomore, and he'll kick it down to my right from the 40 yard line. And I would imagine they've scouted us just like we've scouted them. And I would be surprised if they kick it to Jake Wilson. It would not surprise me at all if we don't see some sort of pooch kick, you know, into a corner. And TCA kind of expecting. Uh, 
some sort of onside kick. We've got a lot of folks up as they spread the field. DCA moving from right to left, wearing the blue, wearing the white. With the call of the game, the voice of sports in West Tennessee, it's Diamond Dave McCulley. Thank you very much, Stan. No, they kick it down there, and it's going to be Wilson. It's going to be short of him, and we'll go out of bounds. They didn't kick it to him. They kick it toward him, but at the 20-yard line, he goes out, so the Lions will have it. And the TSSAA second-round playoffs for your Lions underway. And we'll have the ball at the 35-yard line to begin. We're going we're to have good field position to begin our first drive of the game. Like I said, slow, plodding, methodical drives are what you're going to need to beat this team tonight. So at the 35, not, bad way, not a bad way to start it. And the Lions will send out Wilson, outstanding player, as Wilson, 23 of 50 in the air for 263 yards, 46%. Touchdown, eight interceptions. They won blemish there on that mark, but he's rushed the ball for 734 yards this year, averaging 73 per game. Longest run from scrimmage, 92, four rushing touchdowns. There's other weapons, including the guys to my right. Leading receiver here is Connor Graves, number eight. And Will Allen Smith, you folks watching, remember we're doing a radio broadcast. If you think we're over-explaining, that's why. Needham Goodwin is to the right of Wilson in that backfield. He's going to block for Wilson. Wilson trying to turn the corner, mm. and he's hit and gets barely back the line of scrimmage. This football team only yielding nine points per game. Very quick defensively, and Stan, they showed that quickness right off the bat. And it's back to the line of scrimmage. The ball resting at the 35 hash mark right second and ten. Well, simply put, they had ten men within five yards of the line of scrimmage. The only way you're going to knock that is to get something going through the air to loosen that defense up. Otherwise, we're going to see that all night long. Watching on WNWS.com, listening at uh, FoxSportsJackson.com and a 105.3. We have been told that we have some DCA folks watching tonight. We are TCA announcers, but we'll be fair to your team, I promise. It will be Wilson in the gun this time. Go into his right. Eli Morris back in that line up after missing last week the up back they play the mate hand with a fake and it's going to be keeping it wilson and a flag from the referee in the backfield he did not get back to the line of scrimmage lost a yard to the 34 and on top of that that's normally holding on tca and we've had that problem outstanding offensive line stand but at times we are guilty of holding a little bit too much yeah it's just it seems to bite us at the worst times and they're going to probably i'm sure they're going to take that they may not take that. Maybe they're going to decline that play. That's I probably believe. the smart call. Yeah, yep. and bring up third down. And it puts TCA in a passing situation on the year. Twenty-three of fifty, forty-six percent. We mentioned, and Wilson not necessarily has to pass it, but you would think it would be in a passing situation. This big line, we talked about their center earlier. You talked about their O-line. Their defense pretty stout too. Adrian Francis, six-one, two-eighty-five. The center, he's mammoth. It will be bat, Big Bass, number 79, bringing the lines to the line of scrimmage. And over that ball hovering there is Jay Looney, the senior. Goodwin back in there to the right of one Jake Wilson. Jake the snake, he has it. He looks, the lefty cocks, the lefty throws. It's caught, caught for a first down. And to more. the 40, 45. Will Allen Smith, one of my favorite players. His granddad across the way in that crowd, and a big crowd of TCA folks, right over the middle on the slant end pattern. Will Allen caught it. Wilson delivered the goods. It's first and 10. A Clement transmission to record service. First down to the 44-yard line. 23 yards on the slant end, and you can play a couple of those, and you will start to loosen that defense up. That's doing that shows that they must respect our passing game, which we haven't done much of the year, but they must respect it. Eighth reception of the year for Will Allen Smith. I always have an affinity for those kids with three names. Doubles far side left. Slot left is Todd. In the gun again is Wilson. Here to the near side is Graves. They throw again. They throw it out to Will Allen. Will Allen dodges the first would-be tackler and gropes his way from maybe a couple yards down to the 42. It's going to be second down and eight. Two receptions, 25 yards. And uh, uh, you could already see after that big completion, after that 23-yard completion, you could see DCA loosening up their defense just a little. Now it's time to maybe uh, – See if we can uh, punch a run off tackle. That guy we mentioned, the center of Francis, the nose guard right there over Jay Looney. Looney coming in the game, soaking wet, averages 190. This kid's 285. <laughs> it seems like that's unfair, doesn't it? Two receivers here, they're inside. Graves, the leading receiver on the year. Will Allen right to his left. 
Morris, the up back, they snap the ball 10 Good feet grief. over the head of Wilson. He has to fall back on it at the 34. My goodness, what a mistake by the Lions. It was second and eight, and now it's going to be third down. And, Stan, we got to get down to the 34, and we're all the way back at our 34. Well, that just uh, erased the game that we had two plays ago. Wilson did a great job just getting back and falling on it, Good or it would have been grief. even more disaster. Just a, an, an unreal situation. Now you're, you're in a situation where uh, DCA can just pin their ears back and uh, bring the kitchen sink at us. Rodney Baumgartner says we lost the signal momentarily, but we're back. So that's okay. Here's a handoff to Goodwin. Goodwin looking here to the near side and is going to be tackled in the backfield, slung down all the way back at the 26-yard line. So after having it, first and 10 at their 44, where all the way back TCA is, Back inside the 30, and it's going to bring out Wilson. Well, he'll stay out there. He'll punt back there in that backfield. Appreciate Rodney and the Baumgartners listening tonight. Just out in the uh, suburbs outside of Memphis. Yep. Ball's all the way back to the 28. My gosh. Janice and the gang listening back there with Rodney, keeping him straight. That's a task in itself. So it's going to be Wilson having to punt it. He's averaging 35.2 yards per punt on the season. And they send back their very dangerous and Mr. Football finalist, John Lewis. And here's the punt. And Lewis will gather it in and drop it back to the 36. He's here to the 40. We'll circle the wagons and go the other way. That's a block in the back. And it's going to be Lewis. Yeah, that's a block yeah. in the back. No <laughs> doubt about that. Lewis is decked back at the 28. If you ever saw a clear case of a block in the back, that was one that time. Well, and, and, Lewis and, and, circled the wagon. He sort of got his own guy in trouble, didn't he? Well, and, and, and on top of that, he blocked him right into Lewis. He sure did. It, you know, give, the, <laughs> give the assist and the penalty, and that's what we need early on. Davidson Academy in front of Jackson Christian, 7 to nothing early in that ball game just not that many short miles away from here yeah we had our field at davidson academy no doubt about yeah. it well the ball back at the 20 they'll mark it back after the point of infraction it's at 32 so they'll mark that thing back inside the 20 yeah pushing back pushing back way, way back. back and you'll need it to against this bunch 746 Stereo. yeah 746 left and that's a quickly played first few minutes of this yeah, ball it's, game. it's going to be both teams are going to feature the run all night diamonds. So this is going to be a quickly played game. Another reason you can't afford the mistakes like we just had. The up back is Brady Russell. The deep back is, as we said, John Lewis, the Mr. Football finalist. The quarterback under center will be Bradford Gaines. In that eye, two receivers far side right. They'll give it to Lewis. Why not? Comes left and then goes right. Shakes off a tackler. Moves to the uh, 25 to the 30. Still on his feet. And finally, he's corralled at about the 30-yard line. Grief. He is nifty, no doubt about it, and powerful along with that ability to be nifty. He came this way, Stan, then said, uh-oh, nothing there, so I'll go back to the right. The well, tackle made that time by Braden Salee, the third leading tackler on the team for TCA, and it's all he could do to get him down. One thing you can certainly see already, uh, this cat's got more moves out as a running back than we've seen out of any back that we've faced this season. I thought the Davidson Academy back was as good as I've seen. This kid looks like he might even be better in the eye again. Doubles here to the near side this time. Wide side of the field. Hash mark right. Gain settles under. And he'll give it to Lewis again. Lewis trying to follow the blocking of his big fullback. Oh. Breaks a tackle. Breaks another tackle. Two. Breaks a third tackle. 50-45. And finally down at the 45-yard line. And tackle this time by Alex Smith, and not before he gets all the way down to the 45-yard line. And, Stan, he broke about three or four tackles. Diamond, the thing is, we read the play perfectly. We read it absolutely perfectly, but when you grab, 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 yep. instead of wrapping up, that's what's going to happen. That's actually Salee wearing 59 tonight. He normally wears 58, but I think he's wearing 59. We'll double-check. So at the 46-yard line, they've taken it from their 28 all the way down or inside Bethel, or excuse me, TCH territory. Here's a handoff to Lewis again. Lewis darts, dashes, and gets his way inside the 30. Standing, he is really good at changing directions. Been doing too many basketball games lately at the collegiate level. And Stan, another first down, third first down, down to the 28. He's making it look awfully easy. That big line giving him just enough. And once he gets and breaks the plane, he's sort of roaming at will, isn't he? Three carries, 47 yards. 
on the night. And, and Diamond, they're not running anything fancy. Nope, not they're, at all. they're just playing old fashioned football and running it straight down our throats. At fullback, Brady Russell, a really good blocker, you can tell. Double Switching this plays. Time, far side right. Paul Wade still getting the signals, and here is uh, the handoff to Lewis again. Lewis, 25. Lewis, 20. Finally swung out of bounds by Keltner down near the 20 yard line. Still going to be a pickup of eight on that play. 55 well, yards on four carries. And he'll be at about the 21s where they mark it, I yep. think. And Keltner made the tackle. Because Morris missed the other day, Stan, Keltner is now the leading tackler on this TCA team. Big bass along that front line, Eli Morris. And the front line now, J.P. Oliver. They got their hands full with this big offensive line. It's going to be second down and a God, believe long going two, right. short three. That's the widest side of the field. And Lewis, he's got to be tired already. Here is the nope. handoff to Lewis again. They're coming here to the near side. He's got the first down and just breaking tackles at will inside the 15 and falls and forward to the 11-yard line. Just plowing through 21 down to what, about the 10? So he's near the 10. Pick up 11. At about the 11-yard line, he thinks where they're going to mark it. 66 Brian. yards already first on down. five carries. And Diamond. Argument the 12, I think. Yeah, okay, we'll make that 64 No, it's, yards. At, the, it's at the 11. They okay. can get a first down without scoring. Excuse me, Stan. They can yeah. get this inside the two. Uh, well, you see now why he's a Mr. Football finalist, don't you? Yeah. He's getting a lot of these yards, just breaking tackles. He's inside the 12 down near the 11. It's going to be first and 10 Wildcats against the Lions. And, and, and what they're doing, Diamond, they're going foot to foot with their offensive line and, and, and not giving us a gap at all. We've got a timeout on the field, Diamond. Let's go ahead and take a quick one-minute break. We're back after this. This is Kurt Guerin with West Tennessee Bank. And we're a proud supporter of the Trinity Christian Academy Lions. Here at West Tennessee Bank, we have combined state-of-the-art technology with experienced bankers who can actually make decisions that affect you locally. Our focus is to create a truly personalized banking experience that's actually enjoyable. Visit us in Thompson Farms or just give us a call. We would love to show you how banking is meant to be. West Tennessee Bank is a division of Decatur County Bank, equal housing lender, member FDSE. West Tennessee Bank, focus on you. Nice body. Thanks. You've had some work done. You should have seen me last week. I was a total wreck. Oh, who did the work? Well, I insisted on the best. Mitchell's Body Shop. That is one good looking ride. Fender Benders to Total Rex. Mitchell's gives a lifetime warranty on all repairs. Mitchell's Body Shop, 96 Riverport Drive, Jackson. When you want the best body in town. Now let's go back to the stadium for more Trinity Christian Academy football with Diamond Dave McCulley and Stan Girard. Diamond Dave, 524 go in this first quarter after DCA stopped the TCA Lions. They've gotten the ball and have just methodically marched down the field on five plays. This will be play number six of the drive. They're not in the eye this time, the offset eye with uh, Russell, the fullback to the left. And here's the handoff to Lewis again. Lewis cradling that football yeah, with two hands in. and marches in untouched. Rodney Baumgartner was right about arm tackling. That time there was no arm tackling because we didn't have anyone near him as he scores at the 5-16 mark. And Stan, every play, Lewis carried the football on the drive. It's 6-0 DCA. And they just uh, turned off the lights and did a fancy flashing thing for the touchdown. What if we get the same treatment? I don't think so. Probably not. In to attempt the PAT. We Braden Desham. And he'll we watched him during the pregame. Looked like a pretty good kicker. We don't have stats on them. And Gaines will be the holder, and Sean will try to make it 7-0. 5-16. It looked pretty easy. Just marching methodically down the field. PAT is up, and it sails right through the uprights. It's 7-0 DCA. We'll take a 30-second break and be back right after this on the TCA Football Network. Have you been looking for a jeweler that you can trust to give your jewelry the care it needs? Look no further than Grover King. He's been the owner and jeweler of King Jewelers for 23 years and has over 35 years experience in jewelry repair and custom design. If you've been dreaming of a custom piece unique to you, stop by King Jewelers. The staff is friendly, knowledgeable, and will inspect and clean your jewelry for free. King Jewelers always has beautiful pieces in store, from bridal jewelry to one-of-a-kind estate pieces. Open Monday through Friday from 10 to 5.30. 16B Conrad Drive in Jackson. KingJewelersJackson.com. 
Now let's go back to the stadium for more Trinity Christian Academy football with Diamond Dave McCulley and Stan Girard. Well, if you looked up the word methodical, you'd have Lewis's pitcher in it, folks. 84-yard drive. He carried it every time and kept it off with a 12-yard touchdown run for the Wildcats of D.C. Welcome back, everybody. Diamond Dave along with Stan the Man, Brad McCoy, Jay Cashin, John Brelsford, Tom Mapes, the entire group as it's 7-0 in Stan. They made it look too easily. Rodney Baumgartner sent me a message, arm tackling. We didn't get an arm on him even that last time. No, did very, we? very. There were a few times we, you know, we had to figure out, but, you know, their, their blocking schemes and his strength and some poor tackling does not combine for a good look for us. TCA had it going. Remember Pooch the kick. bad snap. Here's Keltner's going to gather it in at about the 25. Keltner just lowers his head like a ram, and then he's good. hit by the Wildcats. Right at about the 28-yard line. Only a pickup of about three yards. And it's going to be TCA at the 28. Had it at the 35 earlier. Moved it inside their 45. But then the bad snap cost us. And made it fourth and forever. And then they take it after their penalty and move it 84 yards. And here's the Lions back on offense at the 29-yard line. Well, you can see that diamond. They just pursued unmercifully on that. It was, uh, I mean, you know, textbook stuff. Out of this uh, Wildcat bunch. Looney over that sent over that ball at the center position. It's going to be Wilson in the gun with Goodwin to his left this time. Doubles here to the near side. Snap. Here's the handoff to Goodwin. Hit in the backfield and mm. nothing. I mean absolutely nothing. And Deck back there. And he he's tackled by Lamont Tobert, 6'1", 240, the defensive lineman. And he... Got him right there. Tolbert just wrapped him up like a big bear, didn't he? And, and you think that cat's big. Uh, the middle linebacker, what is he, number 65? Don't know his height, but he's easily, easily 6'5". And got a great football name, Doc Strader. It will be the ball back at about the 27. So it's going to be second and 12. The Lions in some early trouble down 7 nothing here on the road. They're 1-4 on the road this season. Pretty much playing press coverage on the pass. It's going to be Wilson in that gun again. Doubles here to the near side again. Wilson's going to run out of the gun, and he's uh -uh. not going to get anywhere. They're going to tackle him and sling him to the turf. And literally, that was a good tackle. And there's that big guy again, Lamont Tobert, and just gets him right back at about the 22-yard line. Another loss for the Lions. Yep. Mm. They're going to say what by loss of uh, by a loss of four on the play. And right now, Dave, nothing is going right for TCA. And this is, don't know what to say, nothing is going right. Well, they're going to be hard to run on. You can yep. tell that already. Uh, you, have to try, you have to loose them up with the pass. Triples here to the near side. Keltner is in the middle of those receivers. Connor Graves and Todd out here. That means Will Allen Smith, the lone receiver, far side left, single coverage. And now whistle shrill the night air with a 45 degrees. And there's a flag back at the 45. And did TCA call a timeout? Nope. It's going to be delay of game, Lions. First play, first play out and or second play out, 40 seconds, and you can't get a playoff. Yep. So it's now going to be third down still, third and about 20, 21 yards, as a matter of fact. We've got to get all the way up near the 40, and we're back inside the 20, at the and, 19. And you know it's Lewis playing a, on the pass defense as well. Three man front here is back there. Wilson runs out, darts out of there. He's got a man open. That's going to go, be Todd. Go. 45, midfield, 45, 40, 35, 30, go, Kat, 25, go. 20. Joshua Todd is going to score. Touchdown, Lions. That is a 82-yard touchdown run for Joshua Todd. And did you see what Wilson did? They were in the backfield all right in his face. He just fainted a little bit to his right, then went left and threw a left-handed bullet. Todd caught it at the 45, and you knew when he got to midfield he had a chance to go all the way, and he did just that. Ladies and gentlemen, it's a lion touchdown. Well, and a chance to tie this game up, and that's, that's one way to erase those uh, – Negative yards on the running game. The holder will be Eli Stewart. Connor Graves is on the year, 16 of 18 in PATs, a chance to tie the game at 315. Snap back, ball down, kick up. It looked a little awkward, but it's true, and it's tied at seven. The Lions are on the board at 315. They fight right back on a – it was a third and 21. The Lions get 81 back after this, 30 on the TCA Football Network. 
With 17 years experience, Tim Armstrong and his team at Reliable Lawn Care and Landscape are just what you need for weed control and fertilization for turf and landscape beds, as well as pest control and fungus on trees and shrubs. Let them design the perfect landscape for you, as well as irrigation work, hardscape installation, and low voltage landscape lighting installation. They do it all at Reliable Lawn Care and Landscape, 234-0823, Tennessee Charter number 5398. Now let's go back to the stadium for more Trinity Christian Academy football with Diamond Dave McCulley and Stan Girard. Well, Diamond Dave, the second longest pass reception of the year for the TCA Lions goes 82 yards and TCA back in business. Yeah, remember the longest was 92 to Connor Graves earlier this year. That was 80. I've got him at 81. We'll give him 82. I like 82 better. 82 sounds better anyway. It's tied at 7, 3, 15. Well, that turns things around a little bit, doesn't it, folks? Here's the kick. Wilson's an onside kick, and that ball oh. is loose, and they fall on it at the 48-yard line. Oh. Blake Butler was putting his hand and fist through the air because that ball went right through the uh, wicket of one of the uh, up men for the Wildcats, but then they were able to fall on it at the 48. So good field position for Mr. Lewis in the game. Nice job by their second line. Uh, man, I didn't catch his number, but good job covering that ball up. Cause, boy, when it, got that, it, when it got past that first line, I thought, Baby, we got it. Remember, you folks watching, we have a radio audience as well. So bear with us as far as how we're describing the game. And we hope on the video side that you're watching the same game that we're broadcasting. Here the near side will be one of the receivers. That's going to be Jacob Cook. One receiver far side right, backs in the eye again. Again, that up back, the outstanding blocker being Russell and Lewis. Why not give it to him? But they play fake it. Now Gaines is going to throw it. Got a man wide open down here. And he's my well, score. Connor Graves has a chance to get him and cannot get him. He falls in the end zone. Well, touchdown. They go right to the guy. And just like that, Jacob Cook goes 52 yards on the pass from Gaines. And it was a beautiful spiral. And that caught TCA looking for the run. They played, faked it to Wilt Lewis. And Stan, Blake Butler talked to you about that yep. in that uh, pregame in the countdown to kickoff interview. He says they'll run it, run it, run it, and they'll play fake you. And that's exactly yep. what they just did, 52-yard strike. And I can tell you one thing. I'm not a fan of that uh, light display. 52 yards. But it is what it is. Well, you're on the road, and yep. that's what they do, so don't worry about it. Here's going to be Deshaun. It just, it just messes with my eyes. <laughs> Here's the snapback. And it's through the uprights. It got through there. And it wasn't the prettiest kick in the world, but it doesn't matter. It's tied. Or make it, excuse me, it's untied at 14-7. So after the Lions complete an 82-yard pass, how about those Wildcats? They come right back with a 52-yard pass of their own, and they lead the game 14-7. Early fireworks here at DCA back after this 30 on the TCA Football Network on a 105.3. Hi. I'm Dr. Toyos of Toyos Clinic. Are you ready to enjoy freedom from glasses and contact lenses? We now offer the latest technology, flapless LASIK. With flapless LASIK, the very next day you can swim, work out, wear makeup. Call our LASIK concierge for a free consultation. 800-603-1989, 800-603-1989. Toyos Clinic, flapless LASIK. See better, look better. Now let's go back to the stadium for more Trinity Christian Academy football with Diamond Dave McCulley and Stan Girard. Diamond, it didn't. We struck quickly with the 82-yard. They come back with a 52-yard to take the seven-point lead. We tip off basketball Tuesday night, airtime 545, 6 o'clock. You may wonder why am I saying something about basketball. Well, the guy that hit one of the greatest shots of TCA history, Tyler Garrett and the Garrett family, they're on their way to God's country to Lexington to see the cats in the bandy. He's listening and watching tonight. Yeah, when well, he said, I'll make it. Yep, he's and the, he the did. hero of the Adamsville game. I missed that game. Remember, I was gone with Bethel for I basketball. I was going nuts that night. Yeah, I can imagine. Here is the uh, kick to Kelder, Kelder to the 30. Watch and well, this. you should be 33 yard line. He's decked right there. Boy, their downfield coverage on the kickoff excellent. is excellent because as soon as Keltner's catching that, I mean, they're there as soon he, as we get the he ball. He doesn't even get five yards. But Tyler and the Garrett family listening, mom and dad and the gang. And, um, you know, Tyler's married now. You know that. 
that's sad when the kids that we covered just a few short years ago are already getting married. What that says to me is I'm old. What do you mean by that? Don't bring that up. I'm I'm broadcasting games of grandkids now. Well, I mean, uh, that, that means you're the ancient mariner. 32-yard <laughs> line. I'm, I started doing this course, when I was 12. Of course, you know, you know the great Tom Mapes. I mean, the only guy that's older than him is Methuselah. And Rodney, tell me he's breaking my heart. He and Ms. Janice, they're moving next week. Oh, I thought they already moved. No, they haven't moved yet. Here is oh. uh, Wilson in that shotgun. It's 14 to 7. Hands it off. And, uh -uh. oh, my goodness, Tolbert. Uh, just, that's, uh, that's almost. Uh, that's yeah, unnecessary. He, he's going to help him up now after well, bulldogging that, him. That's unnecessary. He could go and just absolutely slung him down and just took him to the turf with authority. No gain, that was actually a, a loss of about that was three, a good one, second right? and 13. That was a good was, one. He carried it, and Tolbert made his third solo well, tackle from that uh, line spot there. Um, I may get in trouble, but uh, that is way unnecessary. Yeah, he just took him and just body slammed him, really, to be honest with you. I think that's uh, yeah. the best way to put it. You saw, you saw the video, so I'm not lying. Second and 14. Here's Wilson in that gun again. Has it. Looks. They throw the bubble screen, and it's uh. incomplete. And Connor Gray's, it went through his hands. And I tell you what, even if Connor catches it, I got to be honest, we're going to lose about covered. five yards. They had, they had us covered like the morning dew. About the morning dew. It's 45 degrees here in Nashville. I think we've Nashville. got laundry on the field, though. Yep. And they're talking to TC. Let's see what that's about. And um, hold. I. Misspell something to Tyler. I meant to say go cats, Tyler. There you go. And they're going to take the penalty. It looks like it. That would have lost about five yards. And is it holding again on the Lions? Yes, yes it's sir. a big one. They're going to move it, stand back inside the 20. Well, the last time this happened, we and threw, set a, us we way threw back. a touchdown we pass. We threw an 82 yard touchdown pass. Is that too much to ask for here? The ball will rest at the 17. And it's going to be second in a long way. we got to get up to the 43, Stan. Yeah. You're good at math. How much is uh, that? Back to the 18s uh, where the ball as is. As long as it's not algebra, I'm second, okay. Second and 25. As long as it's not algebra, that 35. It. It's all the way back at the 18-yard line. Well, Wilson's in that gun with Goodwin to his left. Triples here to the near side. Wilson, though, looks and throws that slant in pattern. Uh, Caught. Yeah. And it's going to be a short gain up to about the 24. Who got that? Uh, it's going to be caught by Will Allen Smith, his second catch. That touchdown, by the way, that uh, Todd caught was actually his fifth reception of the year, but his first passing touchdown, touchdown and uh, or reception. He had one rushing touchdown, you remember, earlier this year. Well, They, it's they going read to be, that play a lot better that time. They did. They adjusted to that. That's worked pretty well for TCA, but that time – it was uh, very quickly just a short gain. 24-yard line, get, got to get to the 43, so it's going to be third and 19. Diamond, is this DCA ball club playing with authority or what? I thought that uh, Nashville Christian defense was the best I've seen all year, but this bunch is pretty good. Same play this time, Connor Graves, and nothing. Nothing at all, maybe a yard to the 25. Tackle not by just one guy, not by two guys, but three Wildcats waiting on it. Well, we had we had trips on the right side, and they're just jamming us. And you've you've got to get that pass out there quick, and just hope you can pop one. Otherwise, they're 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 just laying on, bringing the wood to us on that play, and it, it, it's hard to bust that. They only yield nine points a game, defensively, really? folks, and we have seven those thus far. But I'm yeah. telling you, they are quick to say they're quick defensively would be an yeah. understatement. Well, they're 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 big, they're quick. And they play nasty. It's fourth and 18. Here's Wilson and almost blocked. And Flag. whistles. I think they may have jumped off sides. Let's well, wait and say no sideline yeah. warning here to the. Their coaches just said coach we, left the, we left the huddle with 12. Here it is. Sideline warning on um, DCA. Okay. Hmm. Interesting. That, that's that's a that's a that's one of those calls that I just cannot absolutely stand. Either team, it's just, I mean, is it going to is it going to make a change in the game? Absolutely well, not. Well, I so tell you what it did. That? I tell you what you did there though. That penalty it took it helped TCA because that was a very poor punt that was almost blocked. Yeah. Yeah, we've got to do a better job of protection. They well, we've seen Wilson punt out of this situation all year like this, and people have really come close to blocking. 
one well, here and there? Well, they, they're, they're, com they're coming at us from the edge, and we don't have anybody there to touch it. Fourth and 17 now after the ball is at the 25. Look, look how wide that – that's all sides. And they jump all sides again, and the ball is a good thing. snapped over the head of um, – boy, TCA's had some problems with that from time to time this Diamond, year. Diamond, I, I, I hate to say this, we're being intimidated. But it's it, – they're intimidating us right now. That's what's causing some of that. They're going for that block, no doubt. That'll yeah. move the ball up to the 30. So it's going to be fourth and 13 now. Well, you know you know where the rush is coming from. Yep. I would give it another hard count. I mean, he's gone each time. Lost in all of this is a very dangerous Lewis standing back near his own 40-yard line. So Wilson averaging 35 yards per punt. Needs a good one here. 14 to 7 lines down late first. He gets it away this time. A nice high spiral that uh, Lewis, as the clock sounds, that ball will move inside the 35 and be down at about the 31-yard line, 32. We'll take a one-minute break. When we come back, we'll begin the second stanza. It is DCA 14, TCA. It's the battle of the alphabet tonight. 14-7, Wildcats over our lines. A minute back after this on the TCA Football Network. Hi, my name is Sarah Beth Langley. Dance on into Gene Langley Ford for the best deals on remaining 2020 models before the 21s hit the showroom floor. And don't miss the new season of Dancing with the Cars, underway now. Featuring, known for their rough and tumble country swag, F-150 Ford and his big brother F-250. The always beautiful SUV sisters explore, edge, and escape. Coming soon, the one everyone wants to see, the all-new Ford Bronco. Reserve yours at GeneLangleyFord.com. And special guest, the one you love to hate, from the hit show Mustang King, Carol Gascan. <laughs> Dancing with the Cars, now showing at Gene Langley Ford East and Drive in Humboldt. Fox trot into the finance department and get your best deal on your trade-in and now offering guaranteed credit approval. Good credit, bad credit, or no credit, all approved. And two-step into our service bay for service work on all makes and models. You really should try Gene Langley Ford before you buy. The dealership service bill. Now let's go back to the stadium for more Trinity Christian Academy football with Diamond Dave McCulley and Stan Girard. As we begin the second quarter play, DCA leads TCA by a score of 14 to 7, and DCA is going to take over possession of the ball in their own territory near side hash at the 31 yard line. They're mentioning on the PA here, Trevecca Nazarene, just a few miles from here, back toward downtown. There. Greg Ruff, the uh, great SID there, and of course, one of TCA's finest, Ben Maroney, who we talked to a couple weeks ago. Ben ran track there, or ran cross country there, and was one of the great ones. Well, backs in the eye. Hand off Lewis. Lewis dashes left and comes right middle of the field. He may go. He's at the 45 midfield. And finally, T.C. holds on. He's tackled by Michael Palmer at the 45-yard line. And bless Michael's heart, he made a really courageous effort. And then Lewis just carried him about five yards. 25-yard pickup for Mr. Lewis. That run puts him over 100 for the night. Well, ball at the 44. At 103. They took it at their 31. They've got it at TCA's 44. It's 14 to 7, early moments and early seconds of this second stanza. Far side left is Nathan Magagli. I'm glad you said that. Magagli. Is, it's like Sal Magli, except it's an EI on the end of it. And he's going to be far side left. One receiver here to the near side. Hand it off to Lewis again. Lewis darts, dashes, and is hit. Breaks a couple of tackles inside the 40. And the Lions doing all they can to hang on. Finally tackled by Todd, Keltner, and Palmer. It's all about wrapping up, and you saw in the video grabbing by the jerseys. He's so not, elusive, yeah. though, Stan. Give yeah. him a lot of credit. Yeah. It, it is just, poor tackling. I I'm, agree I'm with you. I'm frustrated with yeah, it. But, uh, and I totally yeah. understand what you're saying. Yeah, but. another score coming in quickly. Haywood leads Dyersburg 6 to nothing. Uh, eight minutes to go in the first quarter of that ball game. And it's Davidson Academy 14, JCS 0. You picked Haywood in that one. And, and Davidson Springfield Academy. leads a hard... Harden uh, County, 7 to nothing. All right. Mag live. Far side left again. Here to the near side will be another receiver. They've got a fleet of them. And that appears to be Sneed. No relation to Sam. Spells it differently. And, uh, no, play fake. They want to go to Sneed. He's got it. No, it's incomplete. Way out. Overthrowing him down here at about the 25-yard line. And it will be second down in three. Well, Stan, it was 
be actually third down and three. It was second and short, so why not? You go up air and yeah. mind the way, going across the way after a couple of tackles, going out for TCA would be Palmer. Let's see who came in for him. That, that's just a good play call. Uh, you know, go for the home run on on second and short. You know, you never yep. know, you never know. It's you know, it's a great great thing. Great good play to call. see Bryce Carlton back in that defensive yeah. secondary. He leads TCA in interceptions with four. He did not play last week due to illness. They hand it off to Lewis. Why not? He's got the first down and more. He's roaming free yeah. inside the 15, down to near the about the well, not 19. 19. He's inside the 25, excuse me, and he's down inside the 20 at the 19. Another first down. Stan, he explodes. Once they hand it to him, it's like he's just shot out of a cannon, isn't it? About a 20-yard pickup on the play, 130 yards, diamond on nine carries, and diamond, he was scored, but he tripped over his own two feet. Well, I've been busy with collegiate duties this week, but I'll tell you what. I don't know about the other two football finalists, but they better be good to top this kid. Well, My I, I, I can tell you, I I voted for the uh, back from Davidson. He's awfully good. He's powerful, but this kid, I think, is a lot quicker. Yeah. This they bring a man in a motion. And now a flag right at the line of scrimmage. I it think some movement along the front line. Yeah, there was still three seconds on the play clock. Yep. The guy that came out of there is number 55. And I don't have a 55, so... Probably good that we don't know his name. Ball back to the 24. Brad McCoy, how was that hot chocolate? Delicious. Was that delicious? My goodness. Oh, my. <laughs> it's going to be first and 15. I don't blame you. 45 degrees here in the mid-state area. Hey, we're just glad to be inside tonight. Yep. Back. We appreciate the accommodations of the fine it's folks here at DCA, and especially the AD here, mm. Mr. Goodwin. Here's the handoff to Lewis. Lewis. Goes behind the big back, then comes back this way. He is on his feet inside the five, down into the end zone. Is he in? Yes. yes. A 15-yard, or make it 24-yard, 24-yard yeah. gallop. And Stan, the Lions just can't wrap him up. Yeah. He's everything we heard about him, 20 to 7. And more. Yeah, it's between he and the kid from Davidson Academy, they're the two best I've seen oh, no all year. Question. No doubt about it. They are awfully, awfully good. And in to attempt the PAT will bring Braden Deshaun. The holder will be the receiver a moment ago, Dayton Sneed. No relation to Norm Sneed either, huh? Nope. Mm -mm. He could be related to Ed Sneed. He spells it the same way. Snap back, ball down, kick up, and it is good. 21-7. to seven. The Wildcats have opened it up a little bit. And it's 9.31 left here in the second. The Lions have to get on the offensive horse when we come back after this 30 on the TCA and 105.3 Network. Stay with us. Hi, I'm Dr. Toyos of Toyos Clinic. Are you ready to enjoy freedom from glasses and contact lenses? We now offer the latest technology, flapless LASIK. With flapless LASIK, the very next day you can swim, work out, wear makeup. Call our LASIK concierge for a free consultation. 800-603-1989, 800-603-1989. Toyo's Clinic, flapless LASIK. See better, look better. Now let's go back to the stadium for more Trinity Christian Academy football with Diamond Dave McCulley and Stan Girard. Diamond Dave, this DCA ball club, Claggin. Purple with the white numbers and gold trim, white pants, and gold and blue trim. They're a freight train running downhill with no brakes. No doubt about it. Uh, Wilson here to the near side of us, down to our right. Meanwhile, Todd over the far side right over there, the deep kickoff returners for your lines. Appreciate you listening tonight and watching on WNWS.com. Appreciate the uh, – it's going to be another short kick. Efforts of the station folks of getting us on tonight on the video side as well. Here's a kick end over end, and it's going to be bounding down to Wilson. This goes uh, by the five-yard line. He's down at the one, and he comes back this way to the five, to the ten. And he didn't uh, get to the ten. Yeah, he got to right at the ten-yard line. Did a good job just getting back there and getting it, but misplayed it, Stan. Yeah. The Lions did. And that's right between the up men and the deep guys and right perfectly placed by the place kicker. Not sure he meant to do that, but the bottom line is the Lions are in a hole here, and the ball will be marked right at the 10-yard line, I think, when they put it down. Let's wait and see. Yep, right yeah. at the 10. Right and, at the 11-yard 11, 11 line. And what that did, that ball hit the ground and took a roll. It was like a center fielder just missing the ball. No doubt about it. And it will be. Rodney wants to tell they're turning the lights on and off. He's watching the game. You are ever so correct. Your vision is not failing you, my good friend. 
Well, Lions will have it at the 11-yard line. Well, actually, they say the 12. I've got it right at the between the 11 and 12. Okay. So we'll be generous and say the 12. Wilson in that gun, runs out of there, runs right, and oh, hit. Boy, is golly. he decked right about the 13. Is you may have got a yard. No. no, that's a tile, I think, that just fell there. Oh. And just nothing, a little frustration. You can see it in the lines a little bit. They're having a lot of problems moving the sole line. And Wilson, even as elusive as he is, just does not have that little crease. Give him about a 15 to 18-inch crease. He can make something happen, but. Once that crease is there, it closes up really quick, Stan. It's going to be second down and nine, a pickup of a yard. South Gibson, Westview tied at seven. How about that one? Well, that's who Milo will play next week. They'll play the winner of that one, I think, I read. Well, here's the backs in the eye. Oh, excuse me, it's Wilson in that gun again. And running back to his right or to his left is Goodwin, trying to block for him. And he tries to turn the corner, and now he does get a little, little bit of yards to the 15, maybe to the 16, pushing forward. If that came here to the near we'll side. Give him, we'll give Goodwin two on that play, I think. Let's see where they mark it. Maybe I'm being too generous. I thought he got right to the 15. That was Wilson. I'm sorry. Yeah, Wilson gets to the right. The ball, the nose of the football, resting right at the 15. And it's going to be third down and six. Clock running, 8-15. Quickly played first half. A lot of running in the ball game. 21 to 7. The bad news, though, the Lions trail. Creekwood leads Lexington 7 to nothing in that ball game in Tigertown. Well, Stan, you're down two touchdowns, eight minutes in the first. What do you call on a third and seven here? Uh, Not gonna run on them, I don't think. Intermediate, intermediate slant pattern. Go into the left. Uh, Wilson. Wilson looks, wants to throw, throws. Bam. Caught by Will Allen, oh. and he hangs on at the 19. He paid for what it. What a though. nice catch. Double. He was sandwiched between two blue-clad Wildcats, but he hangs on. He's a little shaky, a little groggy, and he's at the 19 right at the uh, just short of the 20, and Stan, he needed seven. Got four. And he gets about six. It's going to be fourth and a yard. Well, it's going to be got more than I thought. If you're Blake Butler, do you? I no. guess you have to punt it, don't you? Yeah, you got to. They drop back Lewis. So let's see if there's maybe a little hanky panky here. It was the right call. Yeah, it was. He just came up a yard short. And here's the kick, and it's a scribble out of there. Maybe it been partially that almost blocked. Touched. That did touch one of them, I think, That's at our the ball. 40 yard line. Let's see if they give it to the Lions. And now a late the flag ball at the back 40. here at the 30 for something. Yeah, let's see what that's about. Uh, the TCA Harrison bench not Freeman's squawking involved. at the 40-yard lines where the ball will rest, and it's going to be DCA's ball. I thought that hit somebody. It was very close to hitting someone to this yeah. uh, screen here at the press box. I really couldn't tell. Yeah. I had a clear view of that, and it looked like it bounced well, off Well, let's see what the flag's kids. about. The flag is at the, about the 34-yard line. We know Harrison Freeman's involved, and he was the, he was the guy on the deck All right. from the play. And the TCA defense is out there. There's Bryce Carlton in the game. So I would think it's going to be DCA's ball. It's just a matter of whether they'll have more yardage to have yeah, to it's go. On, it's on them. It's on them, I think. And the official well, still sawing it out. That's, must be you. That's my phone. It's the governor calling. The governor? New Mexico, if you hadn't heard, locked down today for two weeks. What are we hmm. headed for, folks, in this country? I'm not sure yet. Man, we're doing uh, football tonight. We'll not be political, but uh, – Yeah, better keep me out of that. You have a lot of um, SEC games not being holding, played tomorrow. Holding on teams. the Lions, offsetting, and the penalty on the DCA team. So, so they're going to have it at the 40. So what it says is a couple of them are dancing together. At the 40-yard line. You're not going to go with that one? I'm going to ignore that. And the ball will be at the <laughs> left hash. <laughs> And it's going to be first and ten. Well, stand down twenty-one to seven. Lions defense. They need a turnover. They need something here yeah. because this thing could get away from them real quick. And you know you're going to get a dose or two or three yeah. of Mr. Lewis in the game. Well, I mean, if I'm one of these coaches next to us, you know, and and I'm not. That's that's why I've got a headset on announcing instead of coaching. But uh, you know, they got they got a cat that's running the ball right down our throat. And that's what I'm staying with. If I'm them. If you or I were coaching, they'd be in deep trouble. Here's Lewis well, at ten. That, with, with Lewis as a back, I could look real smart. He's though. a good ten yards behind the quarterback too. Uh, he, that he's, is doing, a, he's doing the O.J. Simpson thing. That's a long eye, to be honest with you. They'll give it to no play fake it. Here's Gaines wants to throw. He's being pressured, run out of the pocket. He's going to get good yardage though, as he gets about five and dashes out of bounds across the way at the 35. Well, nothing there. Good coverage for the secondary for the Lions that time. They had that covered, but then the quarterback did get positive yards down to the 35. It's going to be second and five. Good job by the defensive backs on that yep. play, and uh, 
we actually got we actually got a little penetration and forced him to run. But uh, you know that quarterback's got some good wheels as well. Yeah, he's pretty nifty back there. He handles this offense really well. Yeah, probably doesn't get the recognition sometimes that he should. But no. this Lewis is back. He's very. Uh, back again will be Russell, deep back, Lewis. Technically, he's Second very good. Second and five, 6.52, clock arrested as he went out of bounds. And off to Lewis, Lewis, and Russell gives him the block, and he gets the first down and finally ridden out of bounds across the way by three or four of the lines. At the 25, so. They've got a big offensive lineman that's come up a little lame, looked like a big 52. That's Tolbert who plays offense and defense. He's, a little, he's walking a little gingerly. Pick you up break a, the lines. Yeah, you don't see. You don't see anyone get hurt, but Tolbert's hurt a little bit. And then on top of that, they get a hold on the Wildcats. Six forty-six left here in this second quarter. The Lions trail the game twenty-one to seven. Down seven, nothing tied at seven, but they've come back with two unanswered scores. We appreciate, again, the hospitality. The folks here at D.C. have yep. been very nice to us. This press box under construction, if you're just Beautiful joining us. press box. We talked about it in the countdown to a kickoff. Tornado ripped through here in March and just devastated this school, this complex, and they've done a great job. Credit the folks here at D.C.A. They're putting lives back together here. And now a timeout, D.C.A., yeah. I think, calls we're the T.O. We'll we're going to have to keep your we'll diamond. Keep it here. All right. Diamond, we, you got anything we talk about, some sponsors or – Oh, yeah, yeah, I have a few a things. A lot of here great sponsors. One, one of them we want to talk a little bit about is Clement Transmission and Record Service. Diamond, they've sponsored every single Trinity Christian Academy radio broadcast that there has ever been. They go back with you, what, 14, 13, 14 years to the very first game that you did on homecoming or senior night many, many years ago. I want to say that was about 2006. 2006, 2006 right. right the year after you, right when you had your heart issue. But uh, a great folks at Clement Transmission and Record Service. I can personally attest that Clement Transmission and Record Service does great work. They fixed the vehicle at mine. They didn't charge an arm and a leg, and they found out it was Rocky Raccoon chewing on my wires, and they – Fixed it up and got me back on the road. <laughs> if anyone's ever been in your vehicle, no, that's true. It was it a was, raccoon could live in there. Uh, <laughs> it was somebody else's vehicle, to be honest. Shut I'm up. sorry. I done that. Yeah, my vehicle's a little trashy. <laughs> Double far side left. Here's the handoff to Lewis. Lewis to the 40. Uh -oh. Burst right through there. Just went right through like a shredding paper down to the 31. He gallops. I mean, what is that pickup of? Uh, Seven, eight yards in the play. That was one of his smaller gains, to be honest with you, Diamond. That was unfair of me to say that, Stan. I yes, apologize publicly and professionally, but your vehicle does need to be cleaned. The ball will be at the 33-yard line. Are, are you offering to detail it? No. <laughs> it will be third down at about three, six seventeen. If you can't have some fun, what can you do in life? I hope Brad gets that computer fixed because we don't need to do many more ad libs. Here is uh, the back in the up. Position will be Russell. The deep back is Lewis. Singles each way. Lions on their heels a little bit. Third and three. You know Lewis is going to get it, and he yeah. does. And we oh. stop him at the line of scrimmage. And then finally, it's Harrison Freeman darting through there oh. and tackles him. I think he's going to be about a yard short. Yeah, he's going to pick up by only a yard. Harrison Freeman made an outstanding. He bounced off a couple of people, and then Freeman got him. And Lewis holding one of his hands. He may be shaking up a little bit. Diamond, one thing you don't want to have yeah, me Stan, do. He's, he's hurt a little bit. Yeah. Look at him. Yep. I can see that. But one thing you don't want to have me do is talk about a jeweler. Well, that's true. Fourth yeah, with, and a, with my love life, <laughs> we don't need me talking about jewelers. <laughs> fourth and a yard. Well, it's going to be Gaines under center. Uh, wishbone. Oh, and the wishbone, yeah, the big guy, Russell. They pitch it back here to Lewis, and he's got the first down and more. He's just going through TCA's defenders, and he's going to score. He goes in from 31 yards, yards out. Now, sometimes you see that. On a fourth and less than a yard or a yard, and he goes 31. And Lewis has scored again. He has um, just 13, been outstanding. 13 carries, 194 yards, and I got him with uh, three three of their four touchdowns. And the other one was a um, uh, uh, pass to number to nine. Cook. Yep, gains to Cook. So it makes it now 27 to 7. And if TCA doesn't figure this thing out real quick, it's going to be a long trip back to West Tennessee. Deshaun in to attempt the PAT. Diamond, we played Davidson Academy better. Yeah, 5-10 left here in this first half. Lions got to regroup at halftime. Boy, that, that ball hit the left upright, and it is no good. 
and a lot of leg to it. And it's 27 to 7. We'll take a one minute break. We're back after this on the TCA Football Network. Need a new car? We're always open online and always offering huge savings at Victory Honda of Jackson. Car buying has never been easier. Buy from home and get your vehicle delivered to you with peace of mind. Like a brand new 2020 Honda CRV LX front wheel drive for just $239 per month. A brand new 2020 Honda Accord LX sedan CVT for just $199 per month. Or a brand new 2020 Honda Civic LX sedan CVT for just $188 per month. Plus, make no payments. For 90 days. That's right, no payments until 2021. For complete details, visit VictoryHondaJackson.com or come into Victory Honda on Highway 45 Bypass today and save. We're always open online and always offering huge savings. So see it all at VictoryHondaJackson.com. Now let's go back to the stadium for more Trinity Christian Academy football with Diamond Dave McCulley and Stan Girard. Well, getting close to the end of the first half of play, and it's all DCA. Little, little pooch kick. It's got to be gathered in by Bryce Carlton. Carlton oh. just bursts right through there and does a good job getting across the 35 and gallops up to about the 37-yard line, and he's decked there by a couple of guys. Diamond, one thing I, I, I will say, and I and – I, praise this DCA team for they hit hard they hit really hard yeah they get to the football really quick as good as anyone I've seen all year when they get to the ball they don't mess around with you hey David Lyle sir David's listening thank you thank you appreciate that Mr. Goodwin and gang doing a great job helping us here and yeah that's the first time all year that somebody's brought us something it is the very first time. 36-yard line, first and 10 Lions. Well, the Lions need a score, no doubt. They're down 27-7, 5-0-2 in the first half. Wilson in that gun again. Morrissey up back. Doubles, triples here to the near side, actually. Here's a slanted pattern, picked off. Went to the well too many times. Yep. They look for it. Will Allen was the intended receiver and is picked off by 55. I don't have a 55, mm. but he comes up with the INT and stands. Oh. When you say go to the well too many times, T.C. went to the well, that slant in pattern again, and they read it brilliantly, and they were waiting on it, and he just was waiting like a defensive guy should, waiting in the weeds, and just came out of well, nowhere and caught it, and they have it at the 36-yard line, gets right back to where the ball was. You know, we, we've had some success with that play, but at some point you got to take it if you're going to do that. We've tried the flat passes. We've tried the slants. Probably time we took the uh, took a shot downfield instead of that slant, but man, they got another short field to work. Came with. to the short side of the field as well, and they had a lot of people right there. Hand off, Wills uh, Lewis. Lewis does a little twirl that time and gets a yard to the 35. And one of the first times the Lions have stopped him basically right near the line of scrimmage. It's going to be a pickup of maybe two to the 34, and that big 52. Tolbert getting up limping. And remember, he got hurt. Few plays ago, and he's mm -hmm. limping around there. He's being uh, courageous, trying to go, but he's favoring the left wheel a little bit. That was the first time one of our linemen's got any penetration at all. And again, a big hello to uh, one of our great friends, Sir David Ligel. And Brandon Get the gang buckets. getting ready to tip it off down at CBU. Tell Gen you a little Jenny's story the about one her in a minute. Jenny's the one that makes that family go, though. Mm -hmm. Twenty-seven to seven, a lot better looking than David. And Brian took her good looks. And her brother took the good looks after their mom. Here's a handoff, and there's a That's new a running hold. back. And no. running this time will be Jordan Lewis. Lewis going far side left. He's going to get the first down and then be decked by three or four of the Lions. But he's going to be near the first down. He might be about a yard short after all of that smoke clears. About a seven-yard pickup on the play. But one thing, you know, you, you, you talk about um, – Hush, Dave, uh, David. Uh, David, yes, yeah, right. Well, you can't eat. And, uh, no, I just had, I had brain freeze. 27 to 7. It would have been better if you just said I had something in your mouth. Yeah. 27. I'll tell you a story about Bryn Lyle. <laughs> I'll after tell you this what point. it is, folks. I gave him a Tootsie Roll. Third down the yard. <laughs> 319. Here's the handoff. 
There's Jordan Lewis again. He's uh, that's that's the other Lewis. That's the main Lewis. Yeah. He's inside the five. Bless his heart. The Lions. He scores again. Good yards. grief. Twenty-seven yards. And Stan, they had Jordan Lewis in there for a moment. And they went back to John. John said, "Hey, man, it's my ball game, and it is. That's his fourth touchdown of the night. It's thirty-three to seven. Three oh nine left. And my goodness, he is everything we." Heard about him and more, and to be more, honest with you. And more. Uh, 33-7. Bryn Lyle, you know, one of the top five scorers in the country in women's basketball last year at any level, D1, 2, 3, or NAIA. Well, she knows how to get buckets. One of our favorites of all time, no doubt. She's had a great collegiate career. Hard she to believe take she's over a senior. Game. Snap back and ball down kick up, 34-7. The Lions are in deep trouble now, folks. 309 left in the half. And... I we'll need come back roll. after this 30 on the TCA Football Network. Three minutes, nine seconds remaining. Whoa. Hey, we're back. We've... Uh, it's been one of those nights, folks. Experienced a little bit of technical problems. We yeah. apologize for that. We're, we're making Brad earn his pay tonight. But, uh, you know, hey, you know, one of the commercials, McDonald's, a great sponsor, you know, stepping up and sponsoring high school sports all over West Tennessee. And you, what can you say? You talk about the McDonald's app. You can get that, and then you can get deals. You use that a lot, too, seriously. Yes, I do. Yeah. I need to start using that. You can get a lot of great deals off the McDonald's app. The one that I like is uh, the, the two, any sandwich for $2, man, you can get a double quarter pounder I with did bacon not know for that. two bucks. My goodness. You That's a have, meal. Trust you shouldn't me. have told me that. Seriously, they, you use that a lot. You can give one, one burger to the dogs or give one, give a, you know, you can feed each dog for a buck. Dijon will kick it away. Nice kick. Todd will go back and fall down at the one-yard oh, line. Oh, Falls down, a little slippery back there, right near the goal line. Oh. And he falls down right, let's see, at about the one or two yard line. Aye, aye, Tough break. Aye. The long night gets longer for the Lions. That was a nice kick, and Todd tried to come out of there with it. Bless his heart. And it's going to be the ball right near the, where do they mark it, Stan? Uh, in, in the yard line called a world of hurt. Yeah, it's uh, trouble back there. I think they're going to move it right about the four. Uh, well, no, it's, it's no, it's about the two. It's a we're in a world of hurt. Well, the Lions down 34-7, tied the game at seven. But after that, it's been all DCA. It certainly has. Yep. And Lewis will be in the shotgun and stand in his own end zone with the checkerboard back there. And and they are Going press covering right. everybody. Eleven men within five yards. Yeah, they don't have anyone back on at all. And here's trying to get out of there. He's a good one. Good job to the five, to Cuts the ten. The Gallops his way to about the twelve yard line. Outstanding run that time. Ran off left tackle and made a good run that time up to about the twelve. Yeah, gonna be a pickup of uh, almost ten yards. We're gonna say, yeah, we're gonna say pickup of nine, nine on that yep. play. You know, Goodwin did not play last week. Seven hundred and twenty-eight yards on the year. Goodwin averaging about six yards, uh, seven yards per carry. Longest run of the year, 78 yards. He needs a big one here. Lines down 34 to seven, 225. Five of those right now. Yep, clock running. Big Tobert right <coughs> over that center's head. They move around a little bit defensively. And here's uh, Wilson trying to run out of the gun, and he breaks through the line of scrimmage a little bit and gets a Clement transmission and record service first down up to the 15-yard line. So two positive running plays for the Lions. Pickup of three on that play for Goodwin. He's Mark, got, excuse he's me, Mark Madlock uh, copying a plea to the official about something. I'm not sure. I think he's saying he's being held to the 15-yard line first and ten. And, Diamond, that's only our second first down of the game. Yep. Clement, transmission and record service. They get their money's worth most nights, but tonight only two thus far. <coughs> well, Wilson in that gun again. Clock running now a minute 55. Connor Gray's here to the near side. Leading receiver this year for the Lions. Wilson, Morris, up back. He gives it this time, and running that football will be good one again. Good one up to the 20 and push back at about the 21-yard line. So three positive running plays. The Lions trying to dig out of this hole. Pick up of five on that play. He's going to have six carries for seven yards. Timeout, Lions. We'll pause for one as well. Our 
we know we're still here. Okay, we're still here. Let's remind you that um, some other great folks that make football possible for us with TCA. Reliable on Karen Landscaping. I know it's the fall and winter time of the year, but they can come rake those leaves for you. They do a lot of things. Drainage work, that's something that really needs to be done this time of the year. Landscape design and construction. Landscape lighting and design. Uh, patios and retaining walls that won't fall down. One of the only licensed landscaping companies in Jackson. They're family owned and operated. Call them today at 736-1515. That's 731-736-1515. Or you can check them out online at at www.reliablelawncarelandscaping.com. Also, Dr. Torius, you heard from Dr. Torius earlier. I can attest to you that he's one of the best. He did my eye surgery years ago. And uh, Dr. Torius, give them a call for your LASIK uh, consultation. That's 1-800-603-1989. That's 1-800-603-1989. Well, the Lions, 34-7. Okay, good. All right, we'll go back to the studio as far as. All right, so the ball at the 21-yard line. It's second down and four. Lions down 34-7 to the minute 33. And now whistles in the night air here. And all sides will be called on. And that's going to give TCA a cheap first down. It'll be a Clement <laughs> Transmission and Record Service first down. All sides on the kids wearing blue and white, the Wildcats of DCA. Cheap or not, I'm going to take it at this point. At this point, down 34-7, we'll take anything they give us. The ball up to the 26. Well, we were in a world of hurt, and now we're just in not good field position, now, but we are moving forward. Now from about the two-yard line, punch it out to the 26. Wilson drops. Wilson on the fly pattern, throws it downfield. There's Connor Gray's oh, incomplete. You got it. And oh. Connor Gray's copping a play, and now uh, look at Blake Butler. He's running all the way down the field. I agree. And I thought he was uh, – I thought his progress was impeded back at about the 45-yard line. Oh, the guy ran all over him like a freight train. Yeah, and that's about as animated and upset as you'll see Blake Butler. He is not well, happy at all. Well, it's um, right in front of the official, too. His dad. The, the only thing that they're going to say was maybe the ball wasn't catchable, his, but you still got to call the flag. His dad, Keith Butler, the defensive coordinator of the Pittsburgh Steelers, watching back in Pittsburgh, he's not happy about the no call as well. No, I, I guarantee he stomped his foot on something. How about those Steelers? They're still undefeated. Yes. Beat the Titans, too. Yeah, second half Titans, tough loss last night. To the Colts. Here's Wilson handing it off to Harrison Freeman. Freeman carrying the ball and noses his way and punches his way out to about the 28. Pickup of uh, one for Harrison, and guys, a DCA player was slow to get up. TCA was, runs over um, and helps him. That was Brady Russell, their big fullback and defensive star. He's shaking up a little bit and trying to shake it off. It's been a hard hitting game, but right now yeah. the it's been score clean, has been but hard pretty hit. well all DCA. Yeah. yeah, ever since we had that touchdown, it's like. It, TCA's been spinning their wheels, and like I said, they're they're running down downhill on a rail. Yeah, we've been running uphill. You're right. Yeah. Wilson in that gun, hands it to Harrison Freeman again. Nice Look at Harrison. Back. Harrison, nice move. Harrison's going to get a first down as he rips his way up to the 40-yard line. They'll stop him just short of that, but Harrison Freeman coming in the game with 420 yards rushing, and he gets good gain, About good 12. gain that time, 12 yards, and that's going to put him up. To about the 40-yard line, first and 10, another Clement Transmission Record Service first down. Two That's carries. the good news. The bad news, Dan, we're down to 36 seconds on the half. Oh, yeah. We do have timeouts left, though. I'm not sure what they pay, uh, pay Brad McCoy, but whatever it is, He's it's, working not, a, hard it's not enough. Freeman to the right of Wilson. 36 seconds. Clock stop. They'll crank it up here at the Lions high step. Wilson pulls it down. Wilson floats it out here trying to hit Eli Wilson and a uh, chicken fight for it. And that's, that's a good no call. I think both, okay. both guys were up, had their chance to get yeah. it, and it's incomplete. Now you come, but now, Darman, we've taken, we've taken some shots downfield. Now you come with the intermediate slant. Yep. Well, the ball at the 40 is going to be second and 10. That took seven seconds off the clock, 29 seconds. Yeah, I'm not sure what that's. But that's, they, that's, me, that's my opinion. Again, I repeat, I'm not sure what they pay, pay Brad, but it's not enough. He is a yeah. warrior. 40-yard line, second down and 10. I like, my, I like my red and black bag myself. It is nice. 29 seconds left. I like the workout of it, too. 29 seconds left in the half. The up back is Morris. Wilson hands it off to Harrison Freeman. Freeman running that ball and will move up to the 40, Pick across the, the 40, moves to about the 43. 
We're down to 20 seconds, though, all that remains. Diamond, the one thing you can do, though, if you notice that, he got three yards, and that's a good thing, but he turned his body and leaned in with the shoulder. Yep. That's going to lead to injury. And apparently the Lions are just going to let this thing run yeah. down. We're down to six seconds, five seconds. And now Blake is pretty well what he does. He calls the timeout and uh, will maybe have a fly pattern kind of a play yeah. drawn up, and that's going to be about it. What four we seconds left. We can take the break. So let's take a 30. It's 34 to 7, four seconds left in the half. Lions down big. Stay with us on the TCA Football Network. Your daughter got her learner's permit. And to celebrate, you're on your way to get her favorites at McDonald's. And you let her drive. Now, if you could just make it to the drive-thru. Enjoying the journey together. That's something to value. Choose your $3 bundle. Pair either the deliciously cheesy McDouble or the boldly seasoned hot and spicy McChicken with small fries. Price and participation may vary. Cannot be combined with combo meal. Now let's go back to the stadium for more Trinity Christian Academy football with Diamond Dave McCulley and Stan Gerard. Well, Diamond Dave, we're going to get one crack at it, and they're going to play uh, four deep safeties back there, so it's going to have to be a uh, fluke play of some sort. And here we go with the final four seconds of the first half. Receiver far side right. Wilson has Morris in front of him. Now throws it out there, and they're going to try the old hook and lateral, and they give it back to Harrison Freeman after it was caught down there by Connor Graves, and he's knocked out of bounds. Eli Stewart, actually, the guy that caught it. And then tried the old hook and lateral, eight, yeah. and it was uh, the ball near midfield, and the horn sounds, and we're at halftime. Well, you're on happy score here at the break. The DCA Academy Wildcats lead here at Ken Redmond Stadium. They lead 34 to 7. We'll take a two minute break, come back with a short uh, announcement, then go with another two minute break. Let's take a two minute break right now. Stay with us here on the TCA Football Network. Hello? Big Steve, what you doing? I'm freaking out, Dano. That's what I'm doing. I'm freaking out. All right, calm down, Big Steve. Keep your head. What's wrong? I sold my house, dude, in seven days. You sold it? Well, Kimberly Evans sold it, but, you know, hey, I need you to come over and help me pack. Help you pack? I got a better idea. Call Kimberly back and have her find you a new house. Call Kimberly now at 731-668-1777 or 731-697-8558. That's 731-697-8558 or visit KimberlyEvans.com. Need a haircut on a Monday, but no salons open? We've all been there with hairdressers not open on Mondays. Not anymore. House of Hair opens Monday and every Monday. Walk-ins welcome, appointments to suit your schedule. And right now, House of Hair is looking to hire three hairdressers and a nail technician. House of Hair, a full-service hair salon. Open Monday to Friday, 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Saturday. Days 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. 16A Conrad Drive, Jackson. 731-240-1660. Leave the termites dead. Make sure the ants won't spread. Have no fear, we got your pack. You're the best, Mac. Huh, Mac, the bug stops here. Whether it be bugs, termites, or moisture issues, Mac Pest Control has you covered. Russ McKelvey with Mac Pest Control, servicing Jackson, Memphis, and greater West Tennessee. Have you been experiencing issues with mold, fungus, or moisture in your crawl space? Give us a shout at MacPestControl.com and we'll line you up for a free inspection. Gee, Dad, I'm excited that you're taking me shopping for my first car. Where are we going? To the same place your granddad took me for my first car, Old Country Auto. But now it's Lonnie Cobb's Old Country Auto. They still have the same laid-back atmosphere and friendly staff to help you, and a wider variety of vehicles, and more to choose from. Well, here we are. Wow, is that a car or a truck? That is a 1985 El Camino. That's a cool car over there. That is a 1969 Camino. Camaro SS Pace Car Convertible. Here's what you've been looking at online. There's all the sedans. And look at all those SUVs. Now let's drive a couple of these SUVs and a couple of these sedans and we'll take it from there. Lonnie Cobb's Old Country Auto carries a wide variety of inventory from SUVs, trucks, sedans, passenger vans, and classic cars. Go to oldcountryauto.com and shop for your next vehicle or just come by and see us at Airways and the Bypass, Jackson, Tennessee. Now let's go back to the stadium for more Trinity Christian Academy football with Diamond Dave McCulley and Stan Gerard. 
Thank you very much, Tom. The bomb mapes worth a half here in East Nashville, Tennessee at uh, Donaldson Christian Academy. And for the most part, it's been all DCA. They lead 34 to 7 in this contest. And quite frankly, Diamond, it's been the uh, John Lewis show tonight in East Nashville, Tennessee. Yeah, no doubt about it. Let's give you a scoring recap. 5-16, first stanza. Lewis, John Lewis, their outstanding running back. 12-yard run. Deshaun, the PAT, made it 7-0, capped off an 84-yard drive. 81-yard touchdown strike at the 315 mark of the stanza. It was uh, Todd gathering one in, his first touchdown reception of the year, the fifth touchdown toss of the year for one Jake Wilson. And 81 yards later, and a PAT later by Connor Graves, the game tied at 7. At the 243 mark, less than a minute later, 52-yard gains to Cook strike in the air, made it 14-7 to after the Dijon PAT. And then it was the Lewis show from 24, 31, and 36 yards out. He runs it in in the second half, quarter, I should say. And after one PAT was missed, the other two good, 34-7. to Your unhappy score here at the break. It's 34-7. Let's take another two-minute break. And when we come back, Stan Gerard analysis of this one and scores, a lot of them, I might add. Yeah. When we come back after this two-minute message on 105.3 and WNWS.com. In football, if you block and tackle better than the other team and work extremely hard, you have a pretty good chance of winning the game. Hello, I'm Curtis Mansfield with First Bank. To commercial loans to online banking, we have the services that you need and are prepared to work hard for you. We are your friends and neighbors and are ready to give you the attention that you deserve. First Bank, first in experience, first in service, first in convenience. We want to be your bank. First Bank, where you matter most. Member FDIC, equal housing lender. First Bank, a proud sponsor of TCA Football. Always Dependable, Clement Automatic Transmission. Owners Jim and Connie Clement have invested over 40 years building a reputation of integrity based on Christian principles, specializing in foreign and domestic transmission repair, featuring experienced technicians. Two have been at Clements for over 30 years. Open Monday through Friday, 8 to 5.30 at 3846 Brownsville Highway in Jackson. Every time, depend on Clement Automatic Transmission. Jim and Connie say thanks for this community's support for over 40 years. Thank you for following TCA Athletics. This is Gina Keltner, president of the TCA Booster Club. God has called Trinity Christian Academy to assist Christian families and their churches in providing a biblically directed, academically excellent education that equips students to be godly leaders and servants in their home, churches, and communities. The TCA Booster Club's efforts help provide the resources necessary for our coaches to have the opportunity to carry out TCA's mission on the court and on the field. At Sports Orthopedics and Spine in Jackson, their team of highly trained physicians utilizes state-of-the-art facilities and techniques to restore your health and mobility. They treat every kind of orthopedic injury and condition, offering world-class care. Same-day appointments. Two orthopedic surgeons, a primary care sports medicine physician, and a doctor of chiropractics form the best team in medicine, maximizing comfort and convenience, minimizing costs. Now offering the latest in stem cell and platelet-rich plasma therapy. Find out more at sportsorthospine.us. Now let's go back to the stadium for more Trinity Christian Academy football with Diamond Dave McCulley and Stan Girard. Alongside the living legend Diamond Dave McCulley, I'm Stan Girard. It's at the half. It's uh, DCA 34 and TCA 7. Let's get you a look at the scoreboard. We're a little behind. So some of these scores, we're going to give you multiple scores for the same team. But we're going to go in progression here. Uh, it's going to be the Tomcats of Haywood leading 13-0, 625 to go in uh, the first quarter of that game. Here's one that uh, I find interesting. West Carroll on top of Greenfield, 8-0 at 437 of the first quarter. Uh, let's see what we got com else coming at you here. They are coming fast and furious. It is a touchdown for Jackson Christian. It is uh, Davidson Academy, 14 Jackson Christian, seven. Eagles hanging in there. Eagles now hanging in there. Wasn't good. Uh, let's see. USJ an early six to nothing lead in that ball game. Well, it should be a seven to nothing league, actually. First quarter of that game, I read, the, I read it wrong. Again, uh, South Gibson, Westview still tied at seven. 
Other scores from West Tennessee. Peabody leading Union City 21 to nothing. Uh, 47 seconds to go in the first quarter of that particular ball game. Hardin County has tied Springfield in Springfield. They are knotted at seven in that particular contest. Going to the well some more. Uh, Union, or excuse me, it's now 14 to nothing USJ in the lead in that ball game. McKenzie has a seven to nothing lead over Adamsville. That is going to expand as this report goes on. Uh, yeah, we got a, not a good situation in Lexington Diamond, a pretty severely injured Creekwood player who's been down on the field for about at least six or seven minutes. So uh, don't know what don't know what the situation is, but it's not good. Thoughts and prayers for yeah, him and at, his family. Yeah, you read my mind there, Diamond Dave. Uh, West Carroll or Greenfield has now put some points on the board. Eight six West Carroll nine forty seven in the second, and. End of the first quarter, USJ 14 to nothing over MTCS. Uh, the injured Lexington player is being placed on a stretcher and removed by ambulance. We now get in, in a further report. Haywood 20, Dyersburg uh, 0, 5, 56 to go in the first half of that ball game. Uh, Davidson Academy now with a touchdown, 21 to 7 over JCS. Other scores from around West Tennessee. Dresden ta trails Lake County. How can that be? Something is a not something is amiss on the scoreboard. Yeah, we'll have to double check. Yeah, that. we'll double check that. Twenty-eight to nothing. Union City leads, or excuse me, Peabody leads over Union City. Henry County all over Brighton. Twenty-one to nothing. Uh, McKenzie uh, scores again. Fourteen to nothing. Springfield's jumped back ahead of Hardin County. Fourteen to seven. Uh, Jackson Christian tried a 41-yard field goal. It was no good in that ball game. Same score there. No score at the half between Riverside and Lewis County. That's a big defensive struggle. Remember, sure is. Lewis County 10-0 uh, on the season, but Frosty Bill, the coach at uh, Riverside, he always has a game plan, and he's got them playing very well defensively in that ball game. Hey, Davidson Academy on top of uh, – JCS now after the missed field goal, Davidson Academy responds with a touchdown. It's twenty-eight to seven, and it is Davidson Academy in that ball game. Take a look at some other scores for uh, this game at the half. Now it is Springfield leading Hardin County, fourteen to seven. Uh, at the half, it's a defensive struggle. Westview and South Gibson, we reported that score earlier. It's still knotted at 7. 21 to nothing. Uh, Adamsville, or excuse me, McKenzie leads in that ball game after losing the first matchup between those two teams. Uh, other scores, Haywood County, boy, they're all over Dyersburg. Dyersburg in 4A right now. Dyersburg moving down to 3A next year. It's 27 to nothing Haywood in that contest. Uh, those golden twisty boys from Union City, they now lead 28 to nothing in their contest. 27 to nothing Tomcats now. Uh, MTCS has blocked a punt. They get the ball in the USJ 13. Uh, and then the, the Bruins respond by blocking a field goal attempt. USJ still leads 14 to nothing, five and a half minutes to go in the first half of that ball game. At the half, 21 to nothing, McKenzie. It is um, West Carroll and Greenfield. That's where I was getting things messed up. Yeah. It's uh, West Carroll 14, Greenfield 6. And that game is at the half. Remember, Greenfield undefeated for a good part of the season. Their only loss to West Carroll, who is the number four seed out of that region. So uh, West Carroll, you know, Jonathan Gowan, the boys at uh, at West Tennessee Internet, you know, you know, got the call of that game, and they've got a barn burner there. Uh, other scores from West Tennessee. Lexington has taken a 14-7 lead in that ball game, 58 seconds to go in the first half. Other scores, Creekwood leading 14-7 at the half. Excuse, yeah, Lexington leads Creekwood 14-7 at the half. 27 to nothing Dyersburg. 27 to nothing Haywood over Dyersburg at the half. 
and Dresden trails Lake County 12 to nothing at the half. And Diamond, that is a look at every single score in West Tennessee that we have. And Diamond Dave, I want to take a two-minute timeout, and we'll be back after this. Hertz Seed Company and Halls credits teamwork for their success since they were founded four generations ago in 1932. Today, brothers Trey and Ray Hertz appreciate the hardworking, dedicated employees they consider and treat as family. Several Hurt family children and grandchildren attend Trinity and help promote teamwork in TCA's athletic program. Hertz Seed Company, wholesalers and processors of soybeans and wheat, working closely with the agricultural community of... West Tennessee to produce quality seeds. Teamwork in action. Let's go, Lions. It's another year and another football season for the Trinity Lions. Hi, I'm Mike Steinbach, sales manager for Robinson Toyota right here in Jackson, Tennessee. Now, a lot has changed over the last year, but one thing that hasn't changed is Robinson Toyota's commitment to the Trinity Lions. We are back and better than ever with a new peace of mind lifetime warranty on every new Toyota and most of our used and pre-owned vehicles. Wow, a lifetime warranty on every Toyota. That's almost as good as a Trinity Lions touchdown. Stop by and see us at Robinson Toyota and support your Trinity Lions. Autumn decorations are down from the attic, football tickets are purchased, and it looks like you're ready for fall. But is your home heating? Cold weather is coming, and McCoys can get your furnace ready. Our technicians provide the highest quality inspections, cleanings, and repairs to keep your system running efficiently. Don't wait until the cold creeps in. Call McCoys and schedule your maintenance today. 731-668-7492 or visit airmccoy.com. McCoy's Heating and Air, Jackson's most trusted team of technicians. Simmons Bank is a proud sponsor of Trinity Christian Academy Athletics, and it takes a solid foundation to build a solid business, and nobody understands that better than Simmons Bank. Whether you need startup capital, equipment loans, or money for expansion, Simmons Bank has experienced business bankers that will give you the time, accessibility, and the service you deserve. Simmons Bank has 20 West Tennessee locations, including three in Jackson. The Simmons Business Bank team is ready to help you. Subject to credit approval, member FDIC, equal housing lender. Now let's go back to the stadium for more Trinity Christian Academy football with Diamond Dave McCulley and Stan Gerard. If you have not heard a face mandate, face mask mandate in effect beginning tonight at midnight, and that will run through the end of the year, I believe, is what we were told on the way up. In Tennessee? Yep, uh, in Jackson and Madison County. In Jackson, Madison County, face mandate, or face mask mandate, I should say. Uh, beginning tonight at midnight and will run through the end of this year. And Stan, we learned today that New Mexico shut down for two weeks, face mask mandate for Jackson, Madison County. And so we just uh, are reminded, uh, sometimes I think we do forget and when we're out doing games, we are reminded that uh, it is a very serious situation. So please follow your protocols, wear those masks, wash those hands, and uh, get ready. I do want to say that uh, it's good to see you. You're not one of our sponsors, but I do want to mention a friend of mine, Scott Wilkerson. Uh, Brad and I talked about this on the way up. He's opened Wilkes Dugout. It's reopened. I've heard you talk about it's that. It's on Van Drive. I'll tell you where. It's on the Orwell Road, Van Drive. No, it's on, on uh, University Parkway. And it's right next to the post office, so you can't miss it. Uh, tomorrow, by the way, they have a former Memphis running back. The name escapes me. Quitman Hampton, I believe. He's going to be signing autographs there tomorrow, but I'll have to run down and see him for a few minutes. I'm off tomorrow. No ball games, but uh, get on down to Wilkes Dugout, and I'm going down and watch you sign some 8x10 glossies maybe in a few weeks. Well, if it's next to the post office, you think you'll find any mail-in ballots laying around? Uh, I'm going to stay away from that. Stan, <laughs> 40 seconds. Hey, one thing, one thing I want to say quickly, you know my disdain for – artificial turf fields absolutely cannot stand them and you know that i think tca has the absolute best field in west tennessee but this field here it is perfect it, it is fast and it looks like a midsummer kind of green it, it, to it, it, too. It, yeah. it, it looks like it's september it looks like it's a september field instead of a november field yep. it is cut short it is cut fast it is painted well and you gotta love these checkerboard end zones the blue and white checkerboards and remember this field was destroyed and the facility yeah. was destroyed with the march uh, tornado but it, it is an immaculate field right. here what are the lines have to do to turn this thing around um uh, lewis's legs <laughs> 
<laughs> well, that would be unfair, but uh, got to find a way to stop him. And right that's, now, that's Stan, what I'd use. And right now, Stan, it doesn't look good. Yeah, thirty-four to seven. But come out and play with a lot of heart. This team has yeah. played. They played hard and they played with a lot of heart this year. They're just being overmatched tonight. Yeah. Hey, by the way, folks, don't forget the basketball season. Coach yeah, Cole, Tuesday. And Coach Northcutt will be there. You and I will be there. By the way, tomorrow, I believe if nothing has changed, and Matt and Ken can tell me if that's the case. But tomorrow, I will not be able to be there. I'll be out of town tomorrow afternoon late after we go by Wilkes. But meet the Lions night tomorrow night, 5 o'clock, and that's going to be at the uh, gym there on the campus uh, of TCA. I'm going, I'm going, hey, I got something to do tomorrow night now. Yeah, and then 6 o'clock tip-off Tuesday night as the Lady Lions and Lions, the defending state champs on the mm. uh, gal side, they'll open up the season. 6 o'clock against the Huntington Phillies and the Mustangs. We'll be there airtime at 545 and the tip at 6 p.m. We appreciate the rosters yeah. that Ken uh, and uh, Matt sent us. i tell you what, that, it's – you know, TCA, the Lady Lions, the defending state champions in Division II Class A. It's going to be a young team this year, but it's going to be a team with a lot of promise. And uh, this team, this team for TCA, the Lady Lions, a lot of youth on this team. You're going to see some mistakes out of them this year, but you're going to see a lot of youth. You're going to see a lot of talent. And, again, it's like the situation with last year's seniors this team is being built for the future. No doubt about it. And, of course, you'll have the Dyer County TCA games Thursday. I'll be with Bethel. Lady Wildcats and Cats will open up their conference play up at uh, Chris Marina on the campus of Bethel Thursday night. And not good news for our Lady Lions tonight. They went on the road and lost 72-68. Had a three, a chance to win the game in the waning seconds. It just went in and out and didn't win it. Coach Nelson just sent me a message a moment ago. We hope that they have travel mercies and yep. have a safe trip back home from Talladega. Well, Stan, teams are warming up down to our left and right, so let's do this. Let's take a one-minute break, about a minute and a few seconds before we kick off the second half. It's one-minute break, and we'll be back, be back with the second half. The line's down 34-7 to seven here in Nashville. Stay with us, everybody. Have you been looking over and over online in search of that perfect engagement ring or that special piece of jewelry that you can envision in your head but just can't seem to find? Well, come let RJ Case Custom Design Studio, located inside Roberts Jewelers, bring your very own design to life. Come book your one-of-a-kind jewelry creation experience with RJ Case's head designer, Chris, by visiting Roberts Jewelers right away. If you can dream it, RJ Case can design it. RJ Case, located inside Roberts Jewelers, Van Drive, Jackson. Boy of Financial Advisors Stephen Brad Little, Byron Bush, Justin Howell, and Russell White are proud to support Trinity Christian Academy. Anything is possible with the right planning. To find out more about Voya, visit financialadvisorstn.com. And here's more about Trinity. Head of school, Judy Brown. Elementary school principal, Christy Timms. Middle and high school principal, Tom Hughes. Admissions director, Laura Davis. Athletic director, Ken Northcutt. And head football coach, Blake Butler. Voya Financial Advisors encourages TCA to train young champions for Christ. For more than 50 years, Jackson State Community College has helped West Tennessee students prepare for success. Now more than ever, Jackson State is here to help our students navigate the challenging times in front of us. We don't know what the future holds, but we know that Jackson State will be here to support our students in the communities of West Tennessee. Visit the COVID-19 page at jscc.edu slash COVID for the latest updates and the resources you need to be successful. Jackson State, invested in your success. Now let's go back to the stadium for more Trinity Christian Academy football with Diamond Dave McCulley and Stan Gerard. Stan, we ask and we receive. We have been told by Coach Northcutt and Coach Coble and the lovely friend of ours, Melinda Chapman, the mother of Reed Rex Chapman, by the way. And the Meet the Lions tomorrow night has been canceled and basically just trying to keep the group gathering, yeah. maybe not in essence right now, and and uh, that's probably a wise decision. Yeah. So no, no meet the lines tomorrow night, unfortunately. Well, we'll just have to test out the internet uh, Tuesday, get there a little early yep. and uh, Scooby-Doo and test it out and see what happens. Well, the line's down 34-7. to 7. We'll have to kick it off here. It's the first time I've worked in Scooby-Doo this year. Yep. Had a couple of rut rows. You but know, the, um, the creator of Scooby-Doo passed away this week. 2020 just blows, doesn't yeah, it? And that's, that's a true story. I'm not uh, no, I, I'm serious with 2020 just blows. Eli Stewart to kick it away, and it goes to Jordan Lewis. Lewis back at about the 10. He's to the 15, to the 20, uh -oh. coming right at us here. That's a block and in the back right there. And comes up near the 30-yard line. And that Big is guy. a flag coming in late. Bryce Carlton is going to help the guy that he may have made a problem. mistake. He's still down on the he's got, he's ground. He's got, he can't believe it. Uh, and that's going to be Russell, their big fullback, who got caught. 
with a block in the back. It was a late flag, but I think it was yeah, a proper well, flag. It, it was the proper call. He, Russell still can't believe it. He, he, said, he ran minute, all over him. And yeah. then Carlton, you know, even though he got freight trained by him, offered to help him up, but he wouldn't come up wait for his own players to pick him up. Well, Carlton's 150 soaking wet. And Russell's 215. That's not very fair either. Well, and uh, Russell's a beast of a blocker, though. He's yeah. an outstanding up back. So that's going to move the Wildcats back here, and they'll move the ball back to about the 15-yard line. It'll be first and 10 there. They'll mark it actually at the 16 for you folks keeping score at home. And if you're keeping score at home at this point, you need counseling. Diamond, there are actually people that keep that score with us at home. More in especially basketball. Especially in the than, basketball. But yeah. there are we have I have had someone tell me they score at home at football. Back to the eye, doubles far side left. Wide side of the field toward the TCA stands. Gaines hands it off to Lewis. Lewis uh, gallops his way to about the 20. He's going to be at four. And he'd be helped up by Eli Morris and the gang. Eli made the stop along with Keltner and the gang. That's actually Eli Stewart getting up there out to trying to get a hand on that tackle was J.P. Oliver. Not really sure. I mean, they run into the short side of the field. I mean, you know, they're you know they're they're running at will. But I, I've always been one. I really always have questioned running you don't like into that the short, short side. No, yeah. I do not like to make the sideline an extra defender. Too many people there too, isn't it? Yeah. Well, back to the eye again. They put a man but that's in motion. Just me. Far side left. That's the guy that caught the pass early for the touchdown. They give it to Lewis. Lewis has got uh, oh, big grief. running room to the 30 and scoots 34. his way all up way to the 34 for a first down. He just absolutely explodes with the football once he gets it cradled. Pick up a 14. He's got, by my count, 240 yards on 17 carries. 240 yards, folks, with 11 minutes left in the third. Maybe they'll show a little mercy and take They've him out. Done a number on us. 33-yard lines where they say the knee hit the turf, and it will be first and 10 there. They send far side left this time. That's Sneed again. Receiver here to the near side is Megali, and it's going to be backs in the eye again. Russell, the up back, <laughs> Lewis. Megali, yeah, here's the play fake, and they want to go to Megali. Short, it's short. going to be underthrown. Oh. And he was down at about the 40, and that ball hit just inside the 45. Well, the, what caused that, Diamond? Great pressure Todd. by the TCA uh, front four. Yeah, and Todd had his back turned, but did a good job Joshua did. Yeah, we have cover on that play. Boy, that was when you wish they could have turned around. That could have been a, a pick and some big yards. Correction on Todd, too. I mentioned last week that he's the son of uh, Representative. He is not, and uh, so I apologize for that. That was brought to my attention. Proving Shame on you. Proving that people do listen to us. He's Eli Morris, a nose guard. He's there with Bass on that front line, along with J.P. Oliver. Sneaking up there will be Salit. Looks like he's going to put some pressure, try to put some pressure on that running back. And now here's the handoff to Lewis. Lewis darts his way to the 39, is upended there. Lions doing a little bit better job yeah. on him. Tackled by Harrison Freeman. Freeman's the leading tackler on this team. And there to help a hand, too, or give a hand, was Eli Morris, the second leading tackler. Eli's been our leading tackler all year, but missed the game last week. And that allowed Freeman to overtake him. His dad, Wesley, down in the booth to our left, keeping stats. Pickup of six on the play. Third and four. Diamond, it looks like, to me, it looks like we're reading the play, but he, Lewis is taking such a deep drop. He's doing a great job at reading what the offensive line is giving him blocking-wise and going where the hole is. They set the tight end down to the right, and he runs right behind that, and he's got a first down to the 45. Step down all the way the... up near the midfield stripe. And Salih and one of the um, well, Wildcats tangling up a little bit. Don't hold him, and you won't get uh, slung. Joja Sims and Salih. So the ball's at midfield. It's going to be first and 10 there for the Wildcats. They're on the prowl again, 950. I'm pulling against the Wildcats here tonight, being the line announcer, but I'm pulling for the Wildcats tomorrow, just about four hours north of here. In Lexington, KY, God's country. Far side left will be Magali again. I've got where, since I know how to pronounce it now, I like to call his name out. Russell, up back. Deep back, Lewis. Gaines looks toward the bench. Gets the play call. Sells under center. Four-man TCA front. Give it to Lewis again. Lewis breaks a couple of tackles and then moves to about no two game. yards to the 48. About game one. Maybe a yard down to about the 49 or 48. Ball was at the 49, so let's give him a yard. Don, I'm going to tell you one thing that I like. You're going to notice if you're watching at WNWS.com, the way he holds his hands, 
He gets that ball and he cradles that yeah. ball until he gets through the line of scrimmage. He's giving that ball extra protection. And for you youngsters that are watching, that's the way you go through the offensive line. Protect that football, cradle it, and don't tuck it under your arm until you get that break in the open field because fumbles nine, are a bad thing. They bring out the up back, Russell. They bring in the receiver, Riley Stanton. Doubles far side left. Stanton's the guy here right below us from the press box here. Great TCA crowd, by the way. Must be Mrs. Stanton. She's taking films right below me here. Here's a handoff to Lewis, One, taking two or three people two. with him, and still on his feet and falls forward inside the 30 down to the 28-yard line. Bass got enough on him to sort of turn him around, and he staggered his way inside the 30 all the way down to the 27 and stand again. Poor tackling lines, great running yeah. by Mr. Lewis, and Sleaze come up lame now. Matt Locke looked like he was going to go out. Now he is going to go out. 281 yards unofficially for Mr. Lewis. It's, yeah. Again, no meet the Lions tomorrow night. Basketball begins Tuesday. I know what I'm doing Triples tomorrow. Triple's far then. side left. Gaines in the gun. Lewis coming up to his left. First time we've seen this formation. He throws out of that uh, formation and gets his receiver wide open to the 10. Nice tackle. Oh, maybe the 15. And catch it over there. It was Snead who caught it, and Snead's inside the about the 15. It's another first down. When you say the word Snead, you think Goff, although he spells it differently. Masters today, five guys tied at nine under par. Goff. I love Goff. What's wrong with that? I love golf too. I used used to play. Used to be okay at it. I used to be. I've, I've retired from golf. Here's Gaines. Oh, you still you still grip it and rip it. Gaines in that gun, first and ten. The ball at the 15. Hashmart left, gives it to Lewis. Why not? Lewis able to lower his head this time and bang his way to about the 10. Now here's flag. a flag coming it's in. It's against us. And it looks like it's going to be against TCA. Roughness. Tobert was slung backwards. I'm not sure who the goal to culprit was. Now another flag, and that's going to be on. Sportsman. That's going to be on Needham need Goodwin. He said something. It's going to be a flag and then unsportsmanlike conduct, I think, on the Lions. Yep. Adding salt to the wounds, and Blake Butler's talking to Needham Goodwin across the way. Well, Diamond, usually when things like that happen, there's some hanky-panky going on in there. You just don't do that for the – you just don't sling somebody like that for the heck of it. Until but then. But you've got to still keep yeah. your cool. Until then, a fairly clean, hard-hitting, but fairly clean football game. And then the Lions look like someone lost their composure. I think it's Goodwin. Yeah, you you see, you see little bits of a little bit of chicken fighting here and there. You know, we saw a little tough tackling, some slams earlier in the game. It settled down there a little bit of chicken fighting, but uh, you know, thirty-four to seven, seven fifty-three to go in the third quarter, and you know, DCA knocking on the door again. Uh, tempers are getting a little. Uh, it's getting a little. What do you say, chippy? Yeah, a little chippy. Uh, Obviously, some frustration. A lot of it. Coach Coble says he's looking forward to seeing us um, Tuesday night. Well, that moves the ball inside where? Inside the five. Uh, it's on the goal line. It's going to be much. first about and the goal. Two. And I would be shocked if they don't give it to Lewis. I bet you a dollar he does. Who would it. not be? Seven forty-five. And now, here's a flag. Late flag. Man, looks like illegal motion. Mm. Yep. And, and you know that's against the rules. That's against the rules. You can that, do it. That, can. that was a classic in the, uh, up at Lambeth. And you said, you, you said flag, you said backfield in motion. I had some sunglasses. <laughs> I go, baby, you know that's against the rules. <laughs> yeah, no doubt. You can do it in the Canadian Football League, but you can't do it down yeah. here. You can do a lot of stuff in the Canadian League on that 110 yard field with a 30 oh, yard yeah. end zone. Seven yard line. They move it back to the seven. So Flutie it's first and goal there. That. Flutie made a career out of it. Russell, the up back. Doug Flutie, one of the remarkable plays of football history. To give it to Lewis, following Russell, goes right, goes left, and goes into the end zone. Mm, yep. Touchdown. From seven yards out at 7 16. And Stan, that gives us a running clock, doesn't it? Yes. So no, it's, it's fourth quarter running clock. That's right. You're exactly right. 40 to seven. I was hoping it wouldn't be a running clock in this game, but my worst fears have come a reality as once they got ahead like 28 to 7 or 27 to 7, Stan, you knew the Lions yeah. were in some trouble. They fought hard. They played better in this third quarter. They give up the long touchdown yeah. drive, though. And they, it's they, they still gave it up, but they fought harder 
Yeah. Giving it up. Seven-yard run by Lewis. It's his fifth touchdown of the night. Snap back. Ball down. Kick up. It's through the uprights. It's good. 41-7. to seven. Lions in a heap of trouble. The season about to end here. Here in Nashville. Great season thus far, but too much wildcat form tonight. Uh, there's something else We're going on, We're back after too. this. One-minute break on the TCA Football Network. This is Kirk Guerin with West Tennessee Bank, and we're a proud supporter of the Trinity Christian Academy line. Here at West Tennessee Bank, we have combined state-of-the-art technology with experienced bankers who can actually make decisions that affect you locally. Our focus is to create a truly personalized banking experience that's actually enjoyable. Visit us in Thompson Farms or just give us a call. We would love to show you how banking is meant to be. West Tennessee Bank is a division of Decatur County Bank, equal housing lender, member FDSC. West Tennessee Bank, focused on you. Don't fumble the ball when it's time to choose a body shop. Choose Mitchell's Body Shop. Mitchell's has a lifetime warranty on all repairs and has rental cars on site for your convenience. Free estimates and free local pickup and delivery. If other drivers were off sides and your car suffered a little unnecessary roughness, remember it's a win every time at Mitchell's. For a safe and economical repair, getting you and your car back in the game. Like Mitchell's Body Shop on Facebook. They're giving away tickets to some of your favorite games. Mitchell's Body Shop, 96 Riverport Drive. Now let's go back to the stadium for more Trinity Christian Academy football with Diamond Dave McCulley and Stan Girard. Well, Diamond Dave, 7-16 to go in the third quarter. A commanding lead, 41-7 by Davidson. At this point, all you can do is play, play for pride. Yeah, and keep your composure right now. You hope both yeah. teams do that. Here's a short, yeah. and that's going to be Carlton at about the 25. Carlton far side right. To the 30, to the 35, to the 40, to the 45. And runs out of bounds across the way. Bryce Carlton's a tough little cookie. And one of the guys that we didn't talk about a lot in the preseason, but the senior has had a good year. Leads TCA in interceptions with four. And he brought that back with a good authority up to about the 45-yard line. Let's see where they mark him out of bounds yeah, across the way. It's going to be great field position. You know, it's, yep. it's, it's, you know it, it would be nice if we could you know take advantage of it. And they'll move it uh, back to about the 42, I think, is where he's going to put it down. So at the 42, first and 10. And the Lions will set up shop there offensively in a 41-7 to deficit here. 7-10 left in the third. Boy, and they're still packing it in five yards. Uh, yep, that four eight man guys. front ends pinching in there as well. Hand off to Goodwin. Needham will have a nice run. 45 there midfield you go. inside the 45. Down to the 43. He runs that football. And the Lions have a Clement transmission and record service. First down here at Nashville. 15 yard run for Needham Goodwin. I know his mama's here in the stands somewhere. Is that, is that just our fifth first down of the night? Is that right? Uh, yes, sir. Bobolinko. Connor Graves. I worked that, I worked that a into bit. a shit. Just something uh, I worked in. Yes, sir, Bobolinko. Yeah, I like yes, that. Yes, sir, Bobolinko. Cousin Tooney used to say yes, that, I think, all the time. You, you are correct, and that's who it's an homage Far to. Far side right will be Graves. We've gone to the heavy package. Yeah, we've gone to the heavy package. It's first and 10 at the 43. They're 43. Hand off Goodwin again. Goodwin trying to get back to line of scrimmage, and he doesn't do he it. He does not, no. At the 44, they'll knock him down there. Loss of a yard, second and 11. This bunch is tough to run against, no doubt. Yeah. I thought the tackles at um, Nashville Christian were awfully good, that they were. Well, Those guys were as big as some college teams I've covered. But uh, yeah, th This team's not as big. They're not big. But, but they're, they're very, very aggressive, I think and they know their job. I think they really are quick. They get to the football as good as I've seen yeah. anyone all year. Great, great movement. And they're, the linebackers are reading the plays exceptionally well. And Tobert has been a – Monster for them against us tonight. Second and 11. He hovers over Looney there. Wilson throws it on the fly pattern and incomplete. And there's going to be a flag. No! Oh. <laughs> and the crowd, despite the fact they're up 41 to 7, they're not really happy here. Uh, and we got laundry back at the 40. We got laundry at both ends roughing of the field. The passer, roughing the passer back here. That's and then pass interference downfield. Now, if, if do you take, do you get both of them or just one? One. Well, I, I I will say this, and Diamond, I always like to I always like to tell the truth, good or bad. But uh, on the pass interference, I didn't see the flag here, but on the pass interference call, um, 
the DCA fans are complaining, and they probably have a right to. I think they have a right our, to, our guy, too. Our guy fell, and it's – Hey, but they, I, th- I thought they missed one earlier, though. It should I have thought, been one. Uh, so. I didn't think that was pass interference, to be honest with you, as well. The ball will be at the 30. Well, that, that was what they call a Mary Kay cosmetic makeup that's call for, Clement, for trans- one they missed earlier. That's a Clement Transmission <laughs> Record Service first down. The coaches in the press box next to me are agreeing with me. It's going to be first and 10 at the 30. Yeah, I, I thought it was a poor call, to be honest with you. Thank you, gentlemen, for having a little humor with me. 545. The Stan Gerard fan club grows yeah. at the 30-yard line, first and 10. This guy, unlike the folks at Adamsville, this guy might send me a Christmas card. Well, I thought you were going to be arrested in Adamsville, 545. I was banished to the visitor's stands once. The next year, I was out with Bethel doing college game, and they put Stan in the – uh, platform. They put him in a platform on the Rodney, visitor's Rodney side. Rodney was my uh, bodyguard well, that night. Goodman is to the left. And now they go with the reverse. Oh. And Connor Gray's made a great play just to get open and then a great tackle. Outstanding tackle by Nathan McAlai. And he's tackled back here for a loss at about the 34. Boy, did um, Eli Stewart made it was Eli Stewart yeah, actually. He, he made a little stutter step. He made a great move to dodge the would-be first wave of tackles, but tacklers, but Boy, I tell you what, that was McAlai staying home, and he gets him up a loss of three, second 13, 514 left in the third. Diamond, where do you think we can get Brad to stop and get us a sandwich on the way home? It had to be quick. He doesn't mess around. Drive, it, I'll, I'll even buy. It'd have to be a drive. Oh, my goodness. It's going to be. I've, the broadcast deteriorating the way this game has. Here is uh, Wilson on the fly pattern this time. Goes deep again down in the end zone. Incomplete. Oh. And Todd did a good job. Come on, give us a break. (laughs) Todd did a good job, that ball not being intercepted. Slightly underthrown, and Joshua came back and kept the. He he played good good defense on the play. He did. Third and 13. Well, the Lions have some momentum Mm -hmm. going here, but uh, now it's going awry a little bit. It's two down territory. Two down territory. 450. Todd stays in the game. He's over there trying to hide in front of the uh, – Now, now I'm, saying, I'm saying go with the slant. The coach, you're saying they're going to go with the slant. They go with that power package again, the two up backs. It's, it's, it's a version of the single wing yep. without some of the spins. Yep. Here's Wilson dropping back. They had, the blitz, they had the blitz on him, and they caught TCA napping. And back at the 45-yard line, just too many people to block. And a great tackle by Riley Stanton, who made the uh, stop. Yeah. Four – and a half minutes to go in the uh, third quarter. And I, I will say this. I think it's time. I, I, I really wish they would call the dogs off. They, they've proven their point. 20-yard lines where TCS has to get. And they're back at the 45. So it's fourth and 25. But that's just my opinion. Will Allen Smith comes here to the nearest side. And I would think TC is going to go for it, despite the fact that Wilson right. could punt it back yeah, there. But I don't think they are going it. to. I'm not sure. He's back near midfield, and he will punt it and gets it away and angles it off to the left, keeps it away from Jordan, and the ball will be down at about the 12-yard line. Will Allen Smith got it there. So it's first and 10 Wildcats. They lead the game 41-7, 357 in what has been a long third quarter. Extremely long third quarter. It's one of the longer third quarters of the year, Diamond. It has been. And Brad's golf game in the morning in jeopardy if this game – Comes to a snail's pace. Boy, with, with the cool temperature, though, that's going to make that ball hard and hard to drive. He's playing golf. You're sleep. To... He's playing golf. You're sleeping. I know you. And I'll be blowing leaves. How about come and clean my car instead? No. no. <laughs> 357. Ball will be at the 12-yard <laughs> line. You know, we talked about McDonald's. We talked about Clement Transmission. How about Mitchell's Body Shop? They have been a longtime supporter of almost every school in Jackson for years, as long as I can remember. At the 12-yard line, first and 10. They hand it off to Lewis. No, it's going to be the handoff this time, actually, to uh, Magali, and he moves up to about the 20, and now another flag is going to come in. Uh, for what? Eli Morris made the stop. For what? If and it's on Morris, for, I'd say for what? Well, that certainly wasn't any more vicious tackle than what well, uh, that, he, he Colbert had earlier in the he game. He wrapped and it? stayed, and they, and they both moved a little downfield afterwards. Well, well, that's well. you know what I'm going to say about that call. And it's going to be moved up to the 35-yard line. Will be first and 10 now for the Wildcats. Uh, I'm, I'm not a fan of that. USJ winning at last report, so they would come here next week. Is that correct? That would be correct. Well, they better have the uh, yeah. 
The Bruins better have the growls going because they'll have their hands full this bunch. Yep. That's taking nothing away from USJ. They're awfully good, but well, this is the best team I think we've seen this year. Yeah, and, and they were happy that we won. Uh, you know that that one game set put them in the opposite bracket, of Davidson Academy. Boys, you got a world of hurt that's sitting here in Nashville waiting for uh, you to come. First and ten at the 35. They put a man in motion here this time. They've taken Lewis out of the game, and now the whistles as they hand it off to Ashton Jones, a freshman running back, and he gets in there. Lewis is done for the night. Stan, what did you have him total yards today? It was 240 uh, last I heard. Unofficially uh, for John Lewis, 21 carries, 288 yards by my count. 288. My goodness, that's a lot of yards. Yep, very, very impressive night. I've gone with 288. Well, it's going to be first. Coach ball. next to me just went, wow. Well, let's see. I don't think he realized it. Second and 15 is what they say, five-yard mark off. I apologize. Well, Jones, he's done for the night, no doubt about it, Lewis. Well, I mean, I say it's time to call the dogs off, and New they, they did. The I appreciate well. that. Here is uh, Magli in motion here to the near side. And Gaines still in there. He'll give it to the freshman again. He makes a really nice run to the 40. He's up to about the 42, and Bass slings him down there. And I'm going to tell you another thing. We got Goodwin and Russell having a little. I don't think they'll exchange Christmas cards no. in about a month as they're having a little problem back here. Diamond, I want to tell you about coaching and what good coaching does. Do you notice that running back? Back, I don't, I don't know what year he is. Again, he cradled just, it. just like, yeah, he cradled the ball just like John Lewis did. Proper coaching, and th that's just a great way to take that ball and go through the line. You're not going to fumble when you do that. Third down and five, the ball at the 41. 208 left in the third. Quarterback Gaines directing Russell. He was out of position, moving to the up back position. They give it to the young freshman running back Jones again. 45, 50. This kid's going to have a future as he gallops his way down inside the TCA 45 to the 44. Finally tackled by Bryce Carlton. And of course, you know you know who his mama is, don't you? Mrs. Jones. So at the 45 yard line. You ignored me. I'm sorry. I was just the PA guy here. <laughs> I like the way the PA guy gets first down. You you ignored my standard comment when someone named Jones gets the ball. I'm sorry. Ms. You, me you and, hurt my me, feelings, me Dave. And, me and Mrs. Jones, we, we wear that Mrs. thing Jones, out. Mrs. Jones, yeah. Mrs. Jones. Please don't sing that song. Here's <laughs> Russell in the up-back position, gains the quarterback. And Jones is getting – Hey, we um, entertain you at least. He's making his mom, Mrs. Jones, happy. And now a flag comes in. And I'm going to honor a great – uh, old friend of mine, Mr. Wathen, there's laundry all over the field. The former uh, PA announcer for the modern day Wildcats in Evansville, and yeah, that was his big stick when there's laundry on the field, especially when a bunch of flags are thrown. Yeah, timeout. Let's Wildcats take it. Wildcats call it. We'll take one with them. It's 41 to 7 with you didn't want to hear my story anyway. And at midfield, they'll have it. It's going to be first and 15 when we come back with more Stan Gerard generalities and humor <laughs> after this 30. <laughs> on 105.3. Have you been looking for a jeweler that you can trust to give your jewelry the care it needs? Look no further than Grover King. He's been the owner and jeweler of King Jewelers for 23 years and has over 35 years experience in jewelry repair and custom design. If you've been dreaming of a custom piece unique to you, stop by King Jewelers. The staff is friendly, knowledgeable, and will inspect and clean your jewelry for free. King Jewelers always has beautiful pieces in store, from bridal jewelry to one-of-a-kind estate pieces. Open Monday through Friday from 10 to 5.30. 16B Conrad Drive in Jackson. King Jewelers Jackson. Now let's go back to the stadium for more Trinity Christian Academy football with Diamond Dave McCulley oh, and Stan Diamond Gillard. Diamond Dave, Diamond Dave, Diamond Dave. Let's see if we can uh, go to the scoreboard here. Hey, great ball game. Ripley 34, Crockett 21, 824 of the uh, fourth quarter. Haywood leads Dyersburg 35 to 7. Four minutes to go in that game. And uh, I've got a, an interesting score for you after this play. Jones, the deep back. They put Magali in motion, bring him here to the near side. First and 15, give it to Jones, the tailback. 45, 40, 35, 30, 27 yard line. TCA missed several tackles, but the little kid made a miss to his credit, too. And a big pickup 
of about 23 yards down to the 27 yard line. He scurries. And it's another first down for the Wildcats. We've here, heard here, that too many times tonight, haven't we? Yeah, here's a, a score with local interest. Good pastures, coached by former Liberty coach uh, Tyler Turner. They just knocked off CAK tonight, 61 43. And uh, I know that Seabass reported on it last night. Joe Holloway sent me a message today. Rusty Bradley out up in East Tennessee. That's a shocker. They were 8-3 and three this year, but not sure if he resigned or is he, he going to finish he the season terminated. or is, it, is are their season And over? off Jones again, cradles it with both hands. They turn Missed him around, tackle. TC does. He uh, absolutely jumps his way inside the 20 and he's down to the 17-yard line. Well, Ashton Jones, a freshman, making his name felt here tonight and a great future for him, no doubt. Last score we had, USJ at the half was 21-7 to over MT. CS. What's the latest on that Jackson Christian game? You have anything on that? I Stan? will look and try and find that for you, my friend. Be a running clock here in this um, fourth quarter that will reach us in 30 seconds. And we're just six minutes short of 9 o'clock. So the ETA back home tonight will not be 1130 the way it's been in the last few weeks. Okay. Well. 20 seconds left here in this long third quarter, one of the longest quarters we've had this year. Jones again, wraps it up both hands, dashes his way, darts his way, weaves his way down to the five-yard line. This kid can run the football, folks, and that offensive line still doing a number on the Lions' D-line. And we've got a line shaken up, and that's going to be Big Bass getting up late. He's had a great career. Bass, the 6'2", 270, and just a junior. He's got another year, and the season will end here tonight in Nashville. And that's going to end your third quarter. Your score at the end of three with them knocking on the door again, them being DCA. They lead the game 41-7, to a one-minute break, and we're back for the final quarter of the year in football after this on 105.3. Hello, I'm Greg Parsons with First Bank. Small communities have the biggest school spirit. That's why First Bank is proud to support the TCA Lions all season long. First Bank, where it's not about being the biggest, just about being the best for our customers. For a traditional, personal, friendly service and local lending that makes relationships last a lifetime. Timeless values like these are just one of the many reasons to do business with First Bank. First Bank, member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. Always dependable. Clement Automatic Transmission. Owners Jim and Connie Clement have invested over 40 years building a reputation of integrity based on Christian principles, specializing in foreign and domestic transmission repair, featuring experienced technicians. Two have been at Clements for over 30 years. Open Monday through Friday, 8 to 530 at 3846 Brownsville Highway in Jackson. Every time, depend on Clement Automatic Transmission. Jim and Connie say thanks for this community's support for over 40 years. Now let's go back to the stadium for more Trinity Christian Academy football with Diamond Dave McCulley and Stan Gerard. For Diamond Dave, it will be a quickly played fourth quarter here in Nashville, Tennessee. TCA down 41-7 to and DCA knocking on the door again. Yeah, they are. They moved to our left now toward the south end zone. Jones, the tailback. Uh, do not get lost in the shuffle. These great tailbacks. Do not get lost in the shuffle. Russell, their up back, their full back. He is a blocking machine. And those running backs have done a lot on their own, but man, he's able to spring them forward. Now watch him here this time. Let's see what he does. Gaines is under center. And it's first and goal. Gaines will give it to Jones. He got him there. This time he runs away from the block. And he's down to about the two, I think. It's going to be second down and goal there. Davidson Academy 35, Jackson Christian 14. Uh, I'll tell you something about that uh, touchdown pass here in a little bit. Henry County leads Brighton 31 to nothing. Halftime, uh, Peabody is up uh, 28 to nothing. Westview and South Gibson still tied. And let's see here. Jones at the back, Russell the back. That uh, Henry County game being streamed by my staff of Bethel. Uh, really? Zach O'Kelly and Logan Campbell up there doing that Zacho. tonight. Zach Appreciate them doing that. Gaines under center to Jones. Jones got him there, so why not give it to the freshman? And he moves in for over 80 yards, Wesley Freeman tells us. He's over 80 yards rushing. And that's going to be a touchdown for the Wildcats. And they lead it now 40 Seven to seven. That last score by Jackson Christian, Aaron Smith's second quarter, 59-yard 
touchdown pass to Peyton Tinsley broke a single season touchdown pass record for the Eagles of Jackson Christian. I'll ask you an important question about this team and USJ here in a matter of minutes. USJ winning their game and obviously DCA winning here. I missed the game with other duties when TCA played USJ. The snap is back, ball down, kick up, it's 48-7. When we come back, we'll get Stan Gerard's analysis. How does USJ and DCA match up? We'll talk about that when we come back. 11-13 in the ball game. TCA down 48-7. We close out the season here in a few minutes here on 105.3. In football, if you block and tackle better than the other team and work extremely hard, you have a pretty good chance of winning the game. Hello, I'm Curtis Mansfield with First Bank. To commercial loans to online banking, we have the services that you need and are prepared to work hard for you. We are your friends and neighbors and are ready to give you the attention that you deserve. First Bank, first in experience, first in service, first in convenience. We want to be your bank. First Bank, where you matter most. Member FDIC, equal housing lender. First Bank, a Always proud sponsor of TCA Clement Automatic Football. Transmission. Owners Jim and Connie Clement have invested over 40 years building a reputation of integrity based on Christian principles, specializing in foreign and domestic transmission repair, featuring experienced technicians. Two have been at Clements for over 30 years. Open Monday through Friday, 8 to 530 at 3846 Brownsville Highway in Jackson. Every time, depend on Clement Automatic Transmission. Jim and Connie say thanks for this community's support for over 40 years. Now let's go back to the stadium for more Trinity Christian Academy football with Diamond Dave McCulley and Stan Girard. And we are back, 11-13 left in the game. Just had a text from a TCA listener. I'll tell you about that in a minute. Here's a high end over end kick that will be gathered in at about the 8-yard line and bring it back as Todd to the 15 to the 20 and looking for a hole there and doesn't find much of one. He's up to about the 20. Seven yard line and stop there. Just had a text from a TCA family, a fan that said, I know a Desham. How does this young man spell his name? It's D U C H A M E, Desham. It's 48 to 7. We'll stand as we go through this play by play of this fourth quarter and your analysis. It's 48 7. Did we have a flag on the play? I think we did. Let's see what this is about. And I'm yeah. going to come to you. You saw USJ. I was out that week, but USJ and DCA, how do they match up? In your mind tonight, next week here. USJ better have a good week practice and uh, come with all guns loaded and all weapons ready because they're going to be in for a fight. That's about the best way I can describe it. It's going to be it, 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 it's going to be a very good ball game. The def, defense for uh, USJ is going to be stretched. By uh, by leaps and bounds, they have not they have not seen a running back like this cat uh, tonight, and uh, he's going to surprise them, and he could wreak havoc on them. I missed the call of what happened there, but I will tell it you this: it was unsportsmanlike. Paul Wade, the head coach, is a very good one. He was in the face, literally in the face of Jacob Cook, right below me here, and Mr. Cook did exactly what a player is supposed to do: just stood there and. Listen Took to his it. coach. In the backfield, Wilson is dropped back at the 46-yard line. Tobert has been someone that TCA has not been able to handle tonight at all. He has manly handled at times the line of scrimmage, and he grabs Wilson back at about the 46 for a loss of about six yards. Well, he, he's and, been a beast. And, and, and the thing is, he caught him from behind, Diamond. Yep. He caught him from behind on that play, and uh, that's, that's a cat with quick feet. It's 9 o'clock. You're listening to Fox Sports Jackson on the Internet at foxsportsjackson.com, 105.3, and wnws.com on the video side. Jay Cashin, John Brelsford, those guys behind the scenes doing a great job. Brad McCoy right here in the booth with us as well. Here is uh, always great. Wilson throws it down there trying to find a his chance. receiver, and that ball is incomplete. Tried to go down there to Connor Grays. Let's see. I think that's Grays, or is it Wilson? Can't tell. He's got his body in a flag uh -oh. back here at the line of scrimmage. That's Connor Grays. More than likely going to be holding. Connor Grays had a great year. Just a junior. Leads TCA in receptions with 17. And the ball is going to be uh, – the flag is going to be against well, TCA, officials, I think. Well, is going to come talk to Coach. Yep. Coach Butler, hands on his hips over there. And that's not usually a good thing. We mentioned earlier his dad, the defensive coordinator for the Pittsburgh Steelers. Who do the Steelers have this week? I don't know, but uh, 
I, I, I don't know. It's going to be. You know, the Salise on the discussion. on both of them. Somebody's been ejected. Well, if it's for TCA, their season will come to a shattering close. If it's DCA, that guy it's, could be in trouble next week. It's against us. And it's against. I'm quite sure it's against yeah, us. So Lee goes to the bench, takes his helmet off. So it's going to be against the Lions. Well, tough night, and you got to keep your composure. These mm -hmm. are competitors, these kids. You remember they're just young whippersnappers. And the ball moved all the way back to 31, but they make mistakes that uh, they'll learn from in life. And at the 31-yard line, it's going to be second and a long way. TC has to get to the 40 or make it 38. Second. And we got a oh, no. we got timeout on the field. Timeout by DCA. Well, 7.28 left in the game. TCA down 48-7. to We'll come back after this quick 30 as we wind down the season in Nashville. Stay with us, everybody. Thank you for following TCA Athletics. This is J.P. Oliver, senior football player. TCA students are taught the values of persistence, commitment, and teamwork through participation in our successful athletic programs. In our past 20 plus years as members of the TSSAA, Trinity has earned numerous district, regional, and sectional championships in five state titles. The TCA Booster Club supports 13 sports and over 40 middle school and high school teams each year. To learn more about the TCA Booster Club, visit the Booster Club section at tcalines.com. Now let's go back to the stadium for more Trinity Christian Academy football with Diamond Dave McCulley and Stan Gerard. Diamond Dave, we're back. The season's going in another seven minutes and 28 seconds. Been a good year. Seven and five will be the mark that will go in the history books for TCA. Many people thought they wouldn't make the playoffs this year, and they did make that. And won the home game last week. Handoff, nothing mm. much there for Eli Stewart. Decked at about the 27-yard line. And another loss. So TCA is going backwards. But Stan, going back to my point, a lot of people didn't think TCA would make the playoffs. They did that. They played at home last week, and they were undefeated at home at six yep. and zero. Their mark on the road will be one and five. But this team, I think, exceeded expectations by a lot of people. Don't you they, agree? They certainly do exceed expectations. And the thing to remember, Diamond, uh, a good chunk of this team, especially at the skill positions, return next year. So. There is some youth coming up. They're going to, you know, they'll they'll hit the weights right away. And the skill player, a good chunk of the skill players come back. We're going to have to have some youngsters step up into roles and uh, look for more success from TCA. I, I fully expect another playoff run next year. Fourth and about 33. Wilson will punt it out of there. And they don't even have anyone back to receive it, which is smart. Coach Ward didn't fall off the turnip truck yesterday, and it's at the 37-yard line. He's a good coach. Stan, his move now, he'll move to 19-14 and 14 here, and he'll move to 72-31 and 31 overall in his career. Yep. Done a good job here in this program. Remember, they won eight games last year, and um, the devastating tornado that hit this campus and this area of the city, They've recovered. They're building it back. We probably haven't bragged enough about their press box. It's under oh, construction. It's, but it's one of the best you'll ever see at the high school level. Hats it, off to yeah. them for their job here. And the ball's at the 37. It's going to be first and 10 there as I, we I wind this you, thing they, down. I can tell you, they wouldn't 5, even have to 45. paint it or do anything to it. And it's one of the best press boxes in West Tennessee. Well, calling small college football, I can tell you, I, I've seen a it's lot worse. some of those, yeah. And T.C.A. jumped off sides, I think. Eli Morris jumped off. I mean, and, and, and you and I, Diamond, the uh, – We've called some games from some definite deer stands. Well, my 18 years at Lambeth were some of the best 18 years of my life. God, those are fun years. But those, uh, that, that uh, press box was, uh, it was literally a deer stand with a top of it that they built a canopy for us up there. First and five after the five-yard mark off. I'm we both had a bad accident You okay here. over there? Uh, it about got ugly, <laughs> and, and it would not have been good. No, it would not have I been. I would have been hurting. The worst thing that could happen to Brad and I would be at the emergency room with you in Nashville tonight. That Under would five not be minutes, good. First and five. Oh, we'll drop you off. We'll drop you off. <laughs> come back. We'll come back and get you. <laughs> Hand off to uh, the running back. That's going to be Jones. He's he's over 85 yards now, but uh, drop him that time for a loss, maybe a yard. You or guys two. are not funny. 440 left here. You think <laughs> you we're, are not funny. You think we're kidding. <laughs> 
Ball back at the 41. Second. You better pucker up, Diamond. Second at about seven. Well, it, forgive us, folks. We'll have basketball for you. Airtime at 545. And if you think it gets silly during football season, wait till you get to a 30-point basketball game. Remember last year we went to Huntington to open up the season. This year yep. they come to us. We'll you have airtime at 545, tip off at six. Defending state champs are the I girls. Get, I get to call the Huntington game sitting in a chair upright. That's right. Se that's good. That, Didn't that's get to do that last year. Second down and five. Hand off, new running back in there. That's going to be carrying it this time, Wesley Gober, and he is at flags everywhere as a and, and I'm gonna I'm gonna go back again, you know, beside the flags, again, another running back properly carrying it until he gets his yeah, hole. They're well coached. Covering no it up. No doubt about TCA, it. TCA, they're well coached. And that's gonna be a hold on the Wildcats. I know the integrity of the game has to be with hell or, or up hell, but in this case, unless it's just something Really out of line. Put the flags up, guys, and let's go home. Yeah, let's, let's get out of here. Like, like they say in basketball, no blood, no foul. 48-7, your score. 320 as we wind it down for the season. TCA will finish 7-5. and five. We appreciate all the great sponsors. Tom Mapes, our executive producer and director, did a great job selling the ads this year and the advertisements. We appreciate that. Brad's been with us all year. Done a super job on the road for us and at home. And... This team, the USJ, appears to be the only team in the city that's going to win tonight. And running back, not much there. Hey, Diamond, a uh, little business we probably need to take care of before it's over because I know we're going to have a short postgame show tonight. It will be a short postgame, yes. Ten seniors are playing their final three minutes of football. We'll get you to mention them. Yeah, for TCA tonight. Number five, Eli Morris. I do this every year. And the ball will be back at the 28. Morris, one of the seniors. Eli Stewart, a senior. Cole Dodson, a senior. We'll mention them all. We'll get them all in here in a minute. Bryce Carlton, who leads his team in interceptions with four. He's a senior as well. Uh, also, Sam Haynes. Here's running the football and... Um, Galloping his way for a couple yards. Riley Stanley, who's played well for them off the bench. Also will be Mark Matlock, who's fought some injuries this year. Jay Looney, the center. Braden Salee, the senior. J.P. Oliver. And Max Spate, bless his heart. He went out early in the year injured and hurt on the third play of the yeah, USJ yeah. game. Has not been able to come back. So those seniors have uh, given it all, and they've done a really good job. Good that you brought that up, Stan. I appreciate that. We're going to mention yeah. that later when well, we close out. I, I since we're going to have a short post game, we'll just uh, – I acknowledge that. I, yeah, I, Here's I, the punter. Just, yeah. We watched him um, punt tonight uh, earlier. And, Stan, he's, um, he's a lanky kid, yeah, isn't he? he's a big boy. And uh, he really is. Uh, that's uh, Max Frazier. Max will get the snap that was awry, but he gathers it in. And ball's going to bound inside the 40, inside yeah. the 35, be down at about the 33. Stan had said if uh, we blocked a punt and knocked him down, he was going to say go, down goes Frazier. But that Not wasn't the case to tonight. Not but – and, folks, I, I do apologize, but announcing seniors in their last minutes is something I, I can't do. Man, nothing to I can't do it. Nothing to apologize for. It's These hard. kids have been a lot to us. And they mean a lot to the TCA tradition in football. We've had some great years at TCA. And this has been a really good year. They'll close out at 7-5. Blake's done a really – I think yep. he and his coaching staff. It's one of his staff, better coaching jobs. Michael Mancini, of course, uh, Nathan Bibb, uh, Jeremy Maddox, Will Brasher, Wesley Freeman. The head of school at TCA, Judy Brown, the lovely Judy Brown. Principal Tom Hughes, athletic director, Ken Northcutt. He's the straw that Great stirs job, the drink. No doubt about it. Um, lovely Christy Timms, the associate AD. David Sickle, the doctor. And Kevin Hansen, the trainer. Great job of him year in, year out. We're down to 25 seconds. TCA will snap it. And uh, Eli Stewart will be back there, and they'll hand it off. And deck back at the 25, the loss of a few yards here. As he handed off to Bryce Carlton, that could be the last play of the season. I think it's going to be. Well, the unhappy final here will be 48-7. to seven. The DCA Lions, or Wildcats, I should say, stay undefeated. They're 11-0. They'll take on USJ here next week. And that's it. We'll take a two-minute break. Be back with a short post game right after this on the TCA Football Network. 
Hertz Seed Company and Halls credits teamwork for their success since they were founded four generations ago in 1932. Today, brothers Trey and Ray Hertz appreciate the hardworking, dedicated employees they consider and treat as family. Several Hertz family children and grandchildren attend Trinity and help promote teamwork in TCA's athletic program. Hertz Seed Company, wholesalers and processors of soybeans and wheat, working closely with the agricultural community of West Tennessee to produce quality seeds. Teamwork in action. Let's go, Lions. It's another year and another football season for the Trinity Lions. Hi, I'm Mike Steinbach, sales manager for Robinson Toyota right here in Jackson, Tennessee. Now, a lot has changed over the last year, but one thing that hasn't changed is Robinson Toyota's commitment to the Trinity Lions. We are back and better than ever with a new peace of mind lifetime warranty on every new Toyota and most of our used and pre-owned vehicles. Wow, a lifetime warranty on every Toyota. That's almost as good as a Trinity Lions touchdown. Stop by and see us at Robinson Toyota and support your Trinity Lions. Autumn decorations are down from the attic, football tickets are purchased, and it looks like you're ready for fall. But is your home heating? Cold weather is coming, and McCoy's can get your furnace ready. Our technicians provide the highest quality inspections, cleanings, and repairs to keep your system running efficiently. Don't wait until the cold creeps in. Call McCoy's and schedule your maintenance today. 731-668-7492 or visit airmccoy.com. McCoy's Heating and Air, Jackson's most trusted team of technicians. Simmons Bank is a proud sponsor of Trinity Christian Academy Athletics, and it takes a solid foundation to build a solid business, and nobody understands that better than Simmons Bank. Whether you need startup capital, equipment loans, or money for expansion, Simmons Bank has experienced business bankers that will give you the time, accessibility, and the service you deserve. Simmons Bank has 20 West Tennessee locations, including three in Jackson. The Simmons Business Bank team is ready to help you. Subject to credit approval, member FDIC, equal housing lender. Now let's go back to the stadium for more Trinity Christian Academy football with Diamond Dave McCulley and Stan Girard. Diamond Dave, the season has come to an end. Both teams are huddled around their coaches. And I, I know one thing's for sure. Blake Butler's given the hardest speech he has to give right now to his team. Yeah, no doubt about it. The season comes to a close, 48-7. Quick scoring recap, then a couple of scores, and we're out of here, folks, headed back west. It was Lewis, a 12-yard run. John Lewis, who finished the game with 288 rushing yards, 84-yard drive, 7-0 after the Deshaun PAT. That happening at the 5-16 mark of the first stanza. TCA jumps right back in it, though. It was uh, Joshua Todd from Wilson, an 81-yard, 82-yard uh, touchdown pass after the Connor Gray's PAT, who finished the season, by the way, 17 of 19 in that category. Great year by Connor. He's just a junior, and it was 7-7 uh, after the PAT. 243 mark. It didn't take long. Just a minute later, it was Gaines to Cook, a 52-yard after TCA went for the onside kick. They recovered, and then a 52-yard strike made it 14-7 after the Deshaun PAT. 24-yard Lewis run, then a 31-yard Lewis run, a 36-yard run by Lewis late in the uh, second quarter at the 309 mark made it 34 to 7 and then it was Lewis a seven yard run in the second half made it 41 7 48 7 your unhappy final here in this one another touchdown this one by Jones their little freshman late in the ball game Stan some closing comments a couple scores that we're headed west appreciate again the hospitality of Dennis Goodwin we appreciate all the sponsors who made TCA football possible for us this year we'll turn our attention now to basketball 545 yep. airtime Tuesday 6 o'clock the tip as the Lions and Lady Lions will take on Huntington Stan a couple of remarks before we close well, it here's something so the, the few folks from DC are left in they'll be interested in this score uh, 8.20 to go in the third quarter. USJ leads 28-7 to seven in that ball game. So it looks like USJ is going to, barring something crazy, USJ is going to win that game. And uh, they'll, be sitting, they'll be sitting right where we are next week. Uh, quickly, other scores, a couple of quickies here. Um, Ripley defeated Crockett County 36-21. It was uh, South Gibson being Westview 21-7. to seven. Peabody wins 35 to nothing. And last score I had, it was uh, Riverside. Uh, the clock was ticking with a 6 to nothing lead in that game. Remember, I called that one earlier. What a defensive struggle that game. Frosty Bill uh, with a masterful defensive job. And it is uh, Hardin County and Springfield at Springfield tied at 21. Haywood's going to win their ball game. 
48 to 20, Davidson Academy over Jackson Christian. Another, another Jackson Christian touchdown in that ball game. And Diamond McCauley for high school football. That's going to do it for us, Buggy. It will, and a special thanks to everyone tonight uh, for the uh, great sponsorships. Dan Reeves did a great job, too, working this week to get this thing yeah. on the video side. We appreciate Dan personally, along with Tim November, all the gang, uh, Lacey and this, everybody that's associated with Grace Broadcasting. John Brelsford, uh, Jay Cashin, what can we say about those guys? Two of the very best we've ever worked with. Brad McCoy, a warrior, a uh, great friend of ours He for was a long working time. on three stations and, tonight. Uh, he is behind the scenes as good as it gets. But uh, the unhappy final here, 48-7. to 7. When you hear our voices next, good Lord willing, and the creeks don't rise will be Tuesday night. Airtime at 545, tip off at 6. A special thanks to my cohort in crime, Stan Gerard. We've been together for a long time. Another football season comes to the close. I know how much it means to him and uh, to all of us. Since for that two, matter. 2009. Yep, and we appreciate the great effort by Stan as well, especially those nights that we couldn't be here. And uh, he's uh, doing much better healthy-wise, and that's great news, and God bless him as well. So that's going to wrap it up for us. The unhappy final here at 48-7. DCA wins it. Good luck to them. And the Bruins, if they come this way, it looks like they will. Good luck to our sister uh, team uh, and the Grace Broadcasting Network scheme of things, USJ, the Bruins, next week. They will have a tough one, but uh, you never know. Uh, could go either way, but uh, this DCA team, DCA team, the best I've seen this season. For all the guys I mentioned, God bless you. Have a great night, a great weekend. We'll talk to you Tuesday at 545 with basketball. Coach Coble and Coach Northcutt, I'm Diamond Dave McCulley. God bless you, and good night, everybody. Thank you for listening to Trinity Christian Academy Football. Our broadcast sponsors this year are Clement Transmission Service, First Bank, the TCA Booster Club, Simmons Bank, Boya Financial Services, McCoy's Heating, Air, and Plumbing, Hertz Seed Company, the West Tennessee Bank, Robinson Toyota, Sports Orthopedics and Spine, King Jewelers, McDonald's, Jackson State Community College, Old Country Auto, Mitchell's Body Shop, Reliable Lawn Care, and Toyo's Eye Clinic. TCA Football is an exclusive presentation of Fox Sports Jackson 105.3.